<laughs> Did Joey wake up and choose to be a Karen? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What about me <laughs> saying that interspecies reviewers writing is bad as me being a Karen? <laughs> what the fuck? Hi. Hello. <laughs> so Hello like, and I'm welcome to the Trash Taste Stream. I just wanted to make a yeah. little bit of a more hype intro than uh, whatever you guys are gonna do. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, Connor literally just went, hi. Hi. <laughs> it's because we're not drinking today. So it's, you know, it's uh feel like the energy is low, right? It's not the, the, the buffoonery is low as well. <laughs> the buffoonery. buffoonery. The, the, mon the monkey yes. energy. Well, we definitely get Speak fucking, we definitely get fucking stupid when we have a few drinks. I mean, I mean that's that's true with everyone though, right? <laughs> <laughs> that makes, you say the, that, that you makes you the best stream. You say that as if that's like <laughs> unique to us. You say that, but literally like- I don't know if you know guys, but when we get alcohol in that system, we get a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, you say that, but literally like, five, 10 minutes before we started streaming, Connor just randomly goes, do you guys like it when you do a wet shit or do you prefer? No, 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 wet shit. No, 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 sorry, sorry, a wet fart. No, no, yeah, like that makes it better, Connor. It's like, do you guys like it if you do a wet fart or a dry fart? I'm just like- Sometimes they feel nice, you know? I'm not gonna, don't make me defend myself here. I don't wanna, I know it's fucking a weird hill to die on. It is what it is, man. Connor, what the fuck? I did not, I did not know this man. I'm just like, who just says that? It's a new sensation. It was like such like a non sequitur. Well. It just yeah. like came out of nowhere. Like <laughs> that's just that's just like like casually asking guys, do you like like just shitting yourself? But yeah. you know, just just a little shit. You know, just just yeah. not 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 yeah. the full shit. Not, not like a full like not the turd. full not a full diaper. Not a full turn, but like kind of just like a little like. <laughs> we're we're alienating any female audience you'd possibly have. Oh, come on, we do that Women anyway. Shit. Yeah, themselves. <laughs> oh, some some of them might. <laughs> Most men don't shit themselves either, Connor. <laughs> We're actually, we're humans, not monkeys. You know, I feel like we're really excluding people who don't shit themselves, you know? I, I'm <laughs> sorry, I, I wasn't- the people, people who shit themselves, you should be- <laughs> You say that as if it's like a choice. <laughs> it is, uh, it's a choice. Well, yeah. should move I on. choose to well, shit myself. Welcome to the Trash Taste Podcast, where as usual, we've uh, talked about shitting This again. is uh, our third stream now. Definitely this, not this a third stream. podcast. Yeah, it's our third stream now. Um, yeah. And this time around, I mean, last time it, we did the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. It was fun. That that was a that was a thing. That was that was pretty. That was pretty hype. That, I, was, that I was hype. Yeah. It was a good time actually. It was, uh, it was crazy how many viewers we had as well. It's like yeah, we, we what did we like peak at? Forty one thousand, I think. Was it forty one? I think it was Dumb. more than that, right? Forty one, forty two thousand, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Absolutely, crazy. absolutely nuts. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how. The next time we'll get a big stream like that again. So for those of you who have just tuned in, we, we have no plan for this stream. We just wanted to stream. We well, literally sure. just, not? yeah, we literally just finished recording an episode and we thought, why not just Ooh. fucking stream, right? Like, yeah, I mean, like if there is one thing we've like added to this stream is uh, we have a donation button now. Course. Like oh, any yes. like any good Twitch channel. <laughs> hey guys, you can give us money. You now. can give us like money that. now. <laughs> because I've seen a lot of people have been sending us bits. And it's like, you know. Yeah, bits yeah. are kind of a waste. Yeah. Go, yeah. I, I don't, okay, I don't know about this. I'm okay, a Twitch so. boomer. Do you, want, do you want to explain why bits are such a waste to me, Connor? So, cause bits, right? You basically like, let's say gone, I want to give you $5, right? right. I can give you five dollars through bits, and then Twitch is like sick. That's awesome. Let me give this two dollars fifty to Gaunt that you just gave me, and then you're like, wait, what? Yeah, it's literally the, you get. You I get, wanted to give Gaunt five dollars. Yeah, Twitch is like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving yeah. Gaunt two dollars fifty. You literally get taxed <laughs> okay. by Twitch by buying. Wait, bits Twitch takes fifty percent. Yeah. yeah, Twitch takes about fifty percent. So it's like, God, so damn. it's a waste on the person receiving the bits, and it's a waste on the person giving the bits. Okay, so there's like no win. Yeah, Actually, I, the only one who wins is Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Well, like subs, at least subs do something. I kind of get subs, yeah, but yeah. bits, I literally don't see the purpose of other than Twitch just wanting more money. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to ask us any questions, we'll, we'll we, obviously we can't yeah. keep up with the chat much. Yeah. Sure, the chat's going very fast right now. Yeah, so like, you know, we're obviously going to, I guess, uh, what's the word? Joey's, Joey's got the PC reading. Yeah, I got yeah. the PC right here. I'll, we're obviously, if you guys want to ask us questions, then like we're obviously prioritize donations and bits because we I don't think we can keep up with how many fucking people are there in here? 5K. 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 Yeah, there's Let's no go. fucking way we're keeping yeah, Joe, up with Joey's, this. Joey's gone in streamer mode. Joey is the res uh, like our resident streamer. Hey guys, welcome to the GDQ <laughs> of this year. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's just take a break. Coming from in this with run. 100 bits. Hey guys, do I, have a, do I have a moment to talk about the new donations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, if you guys, I mean, that's an option there, but if not, then just, you know, 
just come and chill with us because we have no fucking idea what we're doing. Yeah. What do you guys want us to talk about today? What's Let your guys' know, favorite chat? speed run to watch? <laughs> favorite speed run? Yeah, if we're, if we're talking about GD, oh G- god, oh, GDQ man. or whatever. Um, like, I mean, Ma- like, Mario is kind of boring. P- Punch Out's really? pretty fun to watch. Mario's boring. Mario's boring because it's just you see it so often that like it's not exciting anymore, right? I, feel I like don't know, man. I still I have know. fun watching. I feel Mario like it's not form. Yeah. Like watching a good Mario player is like watching like a good like like you know. I can still sit down if there's like a new Mario sixty four speed run. I'll watch it just because it's yeah. like it's it's art in motion sometimes yeah. with these. Like there's so much cool movement in there, and it's something that's I don't know. It's out of every platformers, Mario is just I feel like the cleanest to watch when it comes to mm. speed run. Like I like Mirror's Edge for example uh, speed runs because it's crazy as art, as crazy as fuck. But I swear to God, I get vertigo watching that. I literally speed get runs. sick watching. Yeah, you get motion sickness Mirror's Edge, watching yeah. Mirror's Edge speed runs. That's right? why. That's why I literally I like it was such a good game, but I physically couldn't finish that game because. Mm-hmm. It was like VR. Like I yeah. just got sick <laughs> after a while. I'm like, damn it. I just like, I just fucking nailed that move, but God, I want to throw up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of which speed runs are good. There's so many good ones out there that like aren't the ones, like the super normie ones. Yeah. You know, like, like Mario. You, I actually don't like Dark Souls speed runs. I feel uh, like yeah. it's way find, too, yeah. it's way too stop start for me. Right? I feel, I feel watching someone who's shit at Dark Souls is way more entertaining than someone oh, yeah. like way too good at it. <laughs> I mean, for all the memes, I do think Super Monkey Ball speedruns are very fun I mean, to watch. that's also very fucking <laughs> good so as well. Good. I showed yeah. Aki the Super Monkey Ball speedrun the other day and Which, she was like, you know what? I never cared about speedruns, but God damn, this is impressive. It's so addictive. <laughs> yeah. Cause you, it's just yeah. infinitely rewatchable. Yeah. yeah. Celeste is really good as well. To speed. Oh, I've never seen Celeste speedruns. Oh, it's crazy. Some of the later levels, <laughs> like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like what is happening? Like yeah, the uh, especially like the the post game levels where it just gets like yeah, well, it's just like, yeah. like nothing. There's no platforms. It's just yeah. like space. You're just jumping around space. Uh, Yellow Lightning YouTube with the five dollars says, "You guys seen the new Ava movie?" No. <laughs> I just love how you just went to actual DDQ mode. Oh. You sound exactly like that one of the announcements. Hey guys, come back into the five dollar nation. Just gonna cut in here. No, I mean, um, I know you're gonna watch it. In I'm cinemas. gonna go watch it at the end of the month. Yeah, with uh, a couple of friends. But uh, I feel like I need. I'm glad that I haven't because it came out yesterday in yeah. Japan. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that I'm not going to go see it immediately because. I really need a rewatch 2.0 and 3.0. Okay, this is gonna sound like, you're gonna be like, what the fuck, Connor? I think I'm just yeah. gonna go watch it. I haven't watched any of the movies. I'm just gonna go watch it. Cause I'm what? not gonna, cause I'm Why? not gonna, cause I just wanna see it in the cinema. The fuck are you talking about? What do you I, want about? I'm what? just gonna go watch it. What? what why would you do <laughs> what? that? Why not? Connor, what? <laughs> why not? Don't do this to fuck me. It, why not? What? It's what? Evangelion, Connor. Yeah, sure. It's okay. It's okay. What? <laughs> I just want to go and experience. No, don't it. do this. Don't why? do this to yourself. <laughs> why? Why, why not? would you do that? Why do you? Why would you do this to yourself with the Ava franchise? Out of everything, people have waited literally like ten years for this to come out. And Connor's just like, no, I'll just watch it out of context. Whatever. Sure, fuck it. I mean, why not? Just, I want to experience. Yeah, see how, what's all the fuss is about. <laughs> oh my god. See, I like. It, I, 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 I'm probably not going to fucking understand what's happening anyway if I've watched all the movies. So. Well, no, you will if you've watched all the movies. That's usually how that shit works. Uh, with Ava, it didn't. I, I, that's what they told me about the series, and that was a fucking lie. I watched all the series. It, I it ain't, it ain't that difficult. Uh, yeah, you speak for yourself, Joe. It, it, okay. it really ain't that difficult. All right, okay. It's big. I'm just gonna watch it's it. It's big for, robot fights monster. The too, okay, I wanna watch it just so I can experience it. And like, cause I feel like it's gonna be the best to watch it in the cinema. This right? man's literally, like, this man's literally also, doing you, it. Just, but also, but also, it would be very fun to just get that visceral reaction out of this everyone. man's literally doing it for the clout. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. No, no, not the clout. I just want to watch it. I just want to go there. And I you're literally it. doing it just to no. say I've seen the movie. No, I love going to the cinema, and I've I haven't gotten to see. How can like, you get? How can you get any enjoyment out of a franchise that you? Don't know anything. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes going to the cinema and just experiencing like the movie doesn't matter if you can fucking know what the fuck's going on. This, or not. this ain't this is an end. This is an end game or something. It's like seeing <laughs> the third Lord of the Rings movie oh, without well, seeing either of the first two. No, just like fine, what are you? You, you watch fine. the third movie. And you're it's like, what, what? Why are they getting this ring? Uh, like, are they on an adventure? Oh, okay. It's like watching. <laughs> it's like watching episode eight of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. It's like I've seen. I mean, I've seen episode one. <laughs> you can probably enjoy it, right? <sighs> I don't know, I'm probably gonna watch it. Why fuck it? Why not, man? This is like pure monkey mode going. Yeah. It's just like he, he, pretty colors, bright lights, explosions. I mean, okay. I'm, not, I'm not gonna be able to understand fully what's happening anyway, even if yeah, I no have shit. watched the three movies because you know can't understand that. The, the, it's not that hard to like. I don't. No, no, what? Japanese. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. But yeah, like I, I, I 
probably won't even understand it subbed, let alone yeah, so, if, I'm, if I'm listening yeah, exactly. to it I mean, like, Are you going to watch it in the cinema? Like, I feel like it's a shame not to watch I it in the know, cinema. I don't know, yeah. Right? Well, like, I, okay, so here's the thing. I actually experienced 3.0 for the first time in cinemas, mm. um, but I watched that dubbed because they had a English premiere in the UK. Right. Um, fucking loved it, but as a, like, okay, here's, here's my crossroads. I've been waiting for this for like, how long now? Nine years. I've been waiting for this for nine years. Do I really like, as good as the cinema experience is, do I really want to like get spoilers before I, Bro, you if know. I, if I watched Endgame in my fucking bedroom, I would be like, what's the point? Like the cinema- Would you watch, if Attack, if if the last, you know, because Attack on Titan uh, yeah, is airing right now. Ask and yes. Would you watch Attack on Titan in cinemas? 100%. I'm, yeah, would you? 100%. Cause like I, I can probably get I could probably get enough of the like context with what's going on. Yeah, but you, I, I understand though. You, you get enough, enough of the context to be like, oh, I know kinda, I kind of get yeah, what's going what on, but like that's that to me isn't enough, I guess, to fully enjoy myself. But then I can watch it again a second time and be like, enjoy it even more. Cause I'm like, okay, now I know what the fuck's actually going on. Yeah, but you don't <laughs> rewatch shit anyway. Yeah, but if it's the movie and like the subtitles and I'll actually understand it, I would rewatch it now. Cause I haven't, I haven't watched the Made in the Abyss movie yet. And I think we rewatched the Made in the Abyss yeah. movie, even mm -hmm. though I could- I feel like I wouldn't get much out of it by rewatching it again. I, I've, I feel like, yeah, I, that's, that's the problem, right? I feel like I couldn't get much out of it because I kind of get the gist of what was going on, but I wasn't, fully immersed in it. Cause yeah. I, half the time I was just trying to my best to figure out what was going on. And I also just don't want to see like just kids being fucking stabbed and ripped apart again. That was like, that was enough. I saw that once and I'm like, no more, no more, thank you. <laughs> enough I mean, of that. That's just made in this, right? Yeah. Well, you, you, did, you did see the series before watching the movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, thank God, <laughs> thank God. Like, okay, how, how necessary is it to watch the Eva movies before watching this one? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you've seen the original Evangelion, yeah. right? You can skip. You can skip yeah. the you first can skip movie. One, see, because I, I say I'm, I want to rewatch it, but I mostly want to rewatch 2.0 and 3.0 because 1.0 is literally just the anime. Oh. No, no, it's literally just the the TV series, but just shrunk down. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. it's it's just like a Cliff Notes version of the series, and then 2.0, the first half is like somewhat from the TV series, mm. but then the second half of 2.0 is where it like continues on. Yeah. And 3.0 is completely, completely different. different. Completely different. And they're so, all like two and three is an extension of the anime. It's <sighs> like an, it's like alt, not alternate universe, but oh what's what's God, the word for it? It's like, hell. it's almost a continuation in no, a we're, sense. We're not going to get into the Ava Japan just can't fucking it's, decide. It's, 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 it's an alternate universe. It's an alternate universe. Yeah. Japan's it's, like, here's a straight line. It's it's a retelling. It's a retelling. Yeah. Oh my. It's a, it's, it's a so re I don't need to watch them to watch the fourth. No, 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 no. Because it's a retelling because it's a new story. 4.0 right. 4. 4. literally kicks off where 3.0 So is. So the thing is, you could probably get away with not watching the first two movies. And the only difference that you'll probably see is there's this random girl with glasses. Yeah, there's, a, there's, Mari. A, there's a fourth girl. Yeah, there's a fourth girl. And people were just hyping her up to be like, oh, who's this mysterious character that Anno added? Wasn't important at all. <laughs> like <laughs> she, she's literally there because Anno was, I think like, we need a girl with glasses, right? That's no, no, uh, he was literally just like, I want more Avers. <laughs> not enough Avers. True, true. And so you can possibly get away with like not watching the second one. Third one. You, that's uh that's you, you definitely need to watch it. Yeah. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna book a ticket to watch it sometime. Probably like after a class one day, midday. And mm -hmm. then I'm, I'll watch the third one before and then I'll watch it. Okay. And I'll let you know how it is, Connor. Okay. And then you're gonna be like, fuck you, Connor. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you're killing me inside, yeah. Connor. That's slightly less than what you just first yeah. said. All right, let's speed run some of these donors because we, uh, we are quite far behind, I think. Yeah, oh my God, we're going all the way back here. Thank uh, you guys for being so generous. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Justin Doherty with five bucks says, I'm going to Tokyo when borders open. What a must go to restaurant. I don't know, I don't know. if there's any must go restaurants as much as there's just any like 90 just, just don't come to Japan and eat like kombini food. It's yeah, such 90, a fucking 90 shame. Ninety percent of the places you go to are going to be fucking amazing. That's that's honestly the best, in my opinion, the best food like experiences in Japan are the ones that look so like crummy on the outside. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, here, here's a good strategy. Um, whatever area you're in in Japan, go on Google Maps, search up nearest restaurants by you. Anything above a four star is literally Bang. like a, almost like a nine or 10 out of 10 experience. Yeah, from what I've that's experienced. That's true, that's true. Jojo yeah. bar, go to Jojo bar. <laughs> go to the Jojo bar, yeah. Uh, Apox says, can we talk about how good Exam is? Nope. Uh, Red Leader says, hi guys, wondering if there's going to be a mascot. I've never seen mascot spelled like that. For the Trash Taste podcast slash more merch coming. What the fuck's a mascot? Mascot. It's, it's mascot. They oh, well, I mean, mascot. I don't think we really have an intention for making a mascot, at least not yet. No, not, yeah. not really. We're kind of yeah. just like having fun with what we're doing. Yeah. Merch, merch, yes, but we just want to get it right. Mm. Like, yeah, wanna, I, like, I don't know if I want to, mascot yeah i mean 
Do we? Do we? I, I, I like the. I like the simplicity. It's very, it's very Japan to have a yeah. mascot, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I get PayPal ads, and PayPal has like a, a jank, like deviant ad, deviant looking. Yeah, ass yeah, yeah. Mascot. It's like the the blue and white. It's a, girl, yeah, right? it's yeah. fucking. It's like, Honestly, what? like if we were trying to sell something, maybe because I don't, I don't know what it is about Japan. This is just me being a degenerate. It's kind of fucking dying right now. But uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about. You have a product, you put an anime girl in it, and suddenly it just looks twenty percent more appealing. That's just me though, because <laughs> yeah, I'm a true. fucking weeb and degenerate. Uh, Dreaming <coughs> Cannibal says, do you guys need a graphic design intern? I would gladly fix that donate button. Yeah. I made that donation button in like two minutes. So <laughs> it's, it's, just a, it's just a placeholder. Don't worry, I'll, by next stream, I'll, I'll make something nice. Um, Man, Mike Rizowski is the uh, the mascot. I don't know if Disney would be too happy about. Yeah, that. I don't, yeah, yeah. I think I think we're gonna get a DMCA. As far as I remember, Disney aren't like the kindest with their copyrights. <laughs> I don't know if I remember that. Uh, Path three KG says, Connor, did you start One Piece? No, I haven't started yet. When are you going to start, bro? You, well, I will know when he starts. One you'll, Piece. Yeah, you'll know when, I, like, guys. Ev everyone will literally know when I start it. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to shut up. Like, I'm <laughs> going to become that asshole, and I'm, I, I get addicted to things, and I know when I'm going to get into it. It's going to become my life, and yeah. then I'm going to become like that One Piece like, fan, like Apex, right? <laughs> yeah, like Apex. Come yeah. On, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm addicted. All right. Yeah. Do you want to hear? Yeah. Uh, I stole my mom's credit card for this. Do you guys have please, a please don't steal your mom's yeah. credit card? We don't we don't condone that. Oh, do you guys have a favorite kanji? <laughs> no, I, <don't. laughs> I hate them all equal. <laughs> They're all pretty awful. <laughs> They're all mid. I remember though, like uh, when was it? It was quite a while ago. What, whatever, whatever the hardest kanji is to write, because oh. I remember seeing a YouTube video about like the hardest kanji, and I just like I, I think the top comment was this ain't a kanji. That's just a QR code. <laughs> 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 I, I remember like Connor um, one one time after a, a, a podcast recording was like, um, just came up to me and was like, Joey, I finally, I finally understand kanji now. Cause he's been going to Japanese lessons. So he's like, I finally, I finally understand the appreciation for kanji now that I can read a couple of them. <laughs> I, I liked it. And, then and it, it was like, it was like, it was like, you know, Walking around with a five-year-old who yeah. like who reads like the numbers on That's number true. plates, right? It's like That's true. I know that one. That one is da -da -da. and I'm like You're very Joseph. <laughs> Joseph, why, why I don't speak Japanese around Joe? It's like Nihongo Joseph. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> he was like, oh, I know that one. There's two ways to say that one, right, Dad? I'm like, yes, son. Yes, son. I'm, I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> this is so sad. Do you guys think Connor will like near? Yeah. Have you played near? I tried to. I was, what do you, what do you I, mean was, I was quite bored. Really? Oh, then there you go. There's your answer. What, what, what did you? I mean? think you like Nier. Yeah. What didn't you like? About but Nier? to be honest, I didn't like Nier until I got to the first ending. Because so mm. I, I mean, I know this is going to sound dumb, but I was doing the first mission, mm. and I was like right at the end of it, and I died, and I was like, okay, cool. So it's going to put me back at the checkpoint. It's put me right back to the start. It was like 15 minutes, and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I was like, I was like you is know that what? how it works? Like, it's been a while since I played Nier. I, I can't I mean, remember how it works. I don't remember it was the it one like where that. like there was some obstacle course or something. Like there was like something, and I'd I'd spent literally like fifteen minutes getting there. And I thought, okay, it's okay. Was this the tutorial? You literally lesson? did you die in the tutorial? Yeah, I think so. Because I didn't know what was happening. They didn't explain anything to me. And then it was like fifteen. Well, it sounds like you need to get good then. Well, it was fifteen minutes long, and then I <laughs> thought they'd make me go back to you know like me like two three minutes ago, and then I was like, I really didn't think this was fun enough. To make me keep playing. To be fair, <laughs> that is a very Yoko Taro thing to do, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Who the fuck makes you go back to the start of the tutorial? <laughs> Yoko Taro I, I, does. Yeah. I don't know. I never died at the Fake tutorial gamer? lesson. Yoko well, I mean, Taro is literally I mean, the kind I, I, of person. I, I, I don't know if it was a tutorial. I don't know what yeah. it was. I died and it put me so far back that I was like- I think the only one is the very first like mission where it's kind of like- right back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everywhere when else, it's not everywhere open else world, yeah. I'm pretty sure it like auto- well, yeah. you, you know how you just like, it's not like that. You're on that. It is literally that 50-50 moment of like, this game isn't that fun that I'm super into it. And then all it needs to do is do one thing to make me be like, no. Yeah. And it was make me restart the whole thing again. And I was like, yeah, mm. no, I'm good. I was like, yeah. no. I mean, like, do you I, not I, like hack and slash or? Hack and slash is fine. It's just boring, isn't it? Like you don't, you get minimal combos. And after a while it's like, okay, I'm doing the same shit against the same enemies over and over again. And like, it's like, all right, whatever. And yet but, this man is like Tekken's too hard, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't think that's hack and slash. I mean, if you're playing on the easy mode, I guess, but if mm. it's a good hack and slash game, then it, the game should be designed where the further you progress, the more, game, yeah, the more systems you need point. to like, 
I mean, the more systems you need to learn. I, 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 had, a, that, right? I had a lot of fun with Nier. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with Nier, but I did like I didn't truly start to appreciate it until the game really picks up after the first ending. After the first ending, because yeah. I, I I rolled the like I rolled the credits and I was like, okay, end of game. I've got nothing more to get out of this game. <laughs> Your character is like JK, <laughs> but like because I thought I, I didn't really get the story. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. It just yeah, kind of yeah. ended. So I didn't realize that the game just gets progressively better from like different viewpoints. So I'm just like, F fuck I mean, man. this man literally put 26 endings in the game. So <laughs> just, be just because he could. Why? Why? Be because it's Yoko Otaro and he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's like, it, there's one ending you have to get to. And then there's four uh, yeah. like external endings, but and then every other one is just a meme ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's really good. Um, wow, well, Big Ha Ha just donated 60 bucks. Oh. Says, I'm definitely not stealing this from my mom's credit card. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, thoughts God. about Devil is a part time season two. I mean, I'm hyped. That got announced. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, actually, and I'm just like, this gives me hope for no game, no life season two. Yeah, it's I like, don't know about that. Actually. Happiness is announced. It's like, <laughs> oh, cool, sick. I'm happy about happiness. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, is it just me that doesn't quite understand the hype around? Devil is a part time. Well, no, here's the thing, right? Is that like I is, thought it was good. Yeah, but, but it's because it's an anime from seven years ago that people who have grown up a bit now. Anime from nine years ago. A nine, a nine. Okay, <laughs> yeah, no, it shit. came out in 2013. 13, I think. Or oh, 14, shit, yeah, nine, something nine. like yeah. that. Well, it's just like, you know, when, when you have a series that you probably watched when you were like 15, 14, 13, whatever, mm. whatever age yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. And then you find out that he gets another one. You're like, it's like the serotonin injection. <laughs> I'm like, damn, my childhood yeah. coming back. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. childhood coming back alive a little bit. I mean, yeah, like- That's that's why I think everyone got so hyped for yeah. this in particular. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Like I enjoyed it, but I wasn't like, woo about it, you know? I was that, cause it's, I don't know. It's it's on the same level as No Game No Life season two for me. And right. Where would you, wait, I thought it was a meme. Do people actually want No, no Game No Life season two? Yeah, yeah I, I do. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? I just, do you think it would be good though? I don't yeah, know. I, I, I think, think, it I think be it'd be good. I mean, anything's better than the movie, right? <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, so. it's to, like, to me, I the, what I liked is like, the, I wanted to see him take over more territories and mm. stuff like that. And there was like a natural progression that I was expecting from season two and they just, it just kind of ended. It just it just ended. I no game no life or no game no, no life. life. Yeah, I literally yeah. just saw in the chat being like, still waiting on Spice and Wolf season three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopeful, man. That's I'm, what I'm hopeful. I'm no hopeful. game no life season like two. With, Spice and Wolf season three. That's like, what we need. With Devil is a part time in season two, it gives me so much hope for so many anime out there now. Yeah, because why, why this one in particular? Bacano season two, host. maybe. Sorry? That'd be nice. We're never getting Bacano. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still writing them. So yeah, true. yeah, yeah. You never know. <laughs> maybe. Does Connor like Devil May Cry? I, this is like, you do you, know what, do you like hack and slash? I, I like them when I play them. I mean, I like Bayonetta. Bayonetta mm. was quite fun. Wait, Listen, I, I played Devil May Cry. <laughs> Did you just play Bayonetta? Cause <laughs> Although it's not a bad reason. She's literally a MILF. Yeah. Uh, you know, did you ever get those like um, demo discs in like magazines when you were a kid on PS2? Dude, those yeah, were the yeah, best. Yeah. I, I remember, I didn't know what it was. Cause I, for some reason I was like, mom, please buy me this game. It was always the devil may cry yeah, uh, yeah. demos. Yeah. Cause they were the sickest fucking demos. You were in like some military base shooting yeah. thing. And I, I always wanted to get it, but it was never in stores. And my mom never bought it for me. Oh so really? I really, really wanted to play it so much as a kid. Cause I played the fuck out of that demo. <laughs> and play the shit out of the demo. I played, never the, played the game. I played that demo so goddamn much and my parents never got me it. So sad. To be fair, it was the underground P discs hit different, bro. This, the PS2 discs were like naughty. PS1, PS2 demo discs. You, you could like get, play them for for days. I know. Like, as I a know. Kid. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Like the Metal Gear One demo, oh. dude. I played that first level like over and over. So good. It blew my mind as a kid. To I, be I, like, can't, I can't relate. I never had PlayStation One or Two. <laughs> Man, when you when you play demos on like the Xbox Live Store, just yeah. like what is this? Yeah, <laughs> what is this? I did. I didn't obtain this. Fuck that. <laughs> so getting the disc. And, yeah. the, this. <laughs> and then you always get that one disc that will just be like, you'll be like, yeah, new disc. And it's yeah. just all fucking Gran Turismo, and you're like, fuck. Then someone gives you the one game. It's got like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Metal Tony Gear. Hawk. Yeah, Tony, Tony Hawk, Hawk, Devil May Cry. It's like, my God, they put the whole fucking banger hits yeah. on here. Jesus. <laughs> Q for the anime, man. Q for anime, man. Have you read any of the recent new Shonen Jump manga titles? Spy Family is a good read. Yeah, I have read Spy you Family. Read Spy. Yeah, yeah I've, been, I've been keeping up with the new Shonen Jump stuff. Dude, Shonen Jump Plus, like the online shit has been so good. I mean- Everyone knows Chainsaw Man, obviously. Yeah, I just want to know what is the secret to, to Shonen Jump's formula? Why? Why is it that any, like they they have like out of every magazine, out of everything, mm. anything they produce just becomes a hit? Like, I don't know if it's that, if it, or as if it's, they just go through so much. Like they they rotate. Well, you you, so you, th you think you think of like the shows that define each generation, right? Mm. And most of the time, it's a Shonen Jump show. 
And then there's yeah. this one-off show, like, you know, like so- something else. Like, Attack on Titan. Yeah, so, is it Attack on Titan? No, no, Attack on Titan, no, Attack on Titan like, is Sunday. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, but like out of other most things, like Dragon mm. Ball, Naruto, Bleach, One mm. Piece. Now it's Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer. Um, my hero. Like, I, <laughs> you I know, remember, what, what do you say about Shonen Jump shows? I, I remember I, I tweeted out like being like uh, something along the lines of like, it doesn't matter how much manga you read. At the end of the day, Shonen Jump is the goat. And so many people were like, um, Shonen Sunday and Shonen Champion are just as good. No, they are not just as good. Let's be real. I you mean, think of you think of any like massive show that is known worldwide. And nine out of ten of them are from Shonen Jump. Yeah, exactly. Like they've just figured it out. Like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna say like you know Sunday and Champion don't have any good ones. Like, yeah, of course that's, they that's not what do. we're saying. But in terms yeah. of like the how, how famous these shows get yeah. and how big of an impact they make, Shonen Shonen Jump at the is end, untouchable. Yeah, at the end of the day, you could be into some of like the most like niche like underground like seinen like you know shojo shit. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're gonna go back to Shonen Jump. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? Like that's gonna be your defining thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Spy Family's been really good. Uh, Kaiju Number Eight's really good. Uh, I don't know if you guys read that. I have not read it's that. It's like one volume of that. It's literally just, it's like the story of like this dude who turns into a kaiju to fight other kaiju. See, like I don't read Shonen Jump like manga that haven't made, had an anime made yet because mm. I know, like you can pretty much guarantee that if a title gets big, it's gonna get an anime adaptation. Oh yeah, of course. And and like that's like any Shonen Jump manga, I'm pretty sure is going to get an anime adaptation. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, we're getting Chainsaw Man and like, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Kaiju Number 8 and uh, Spy Family. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. I think Spy Family, I think that's been announced. Yeah, Spy Family's been announced. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not surprised. Spy, Family. Spy Family's fucking great. Yeah. I have like three chapters and I was like, I wanna watch the anime. <laughs> <laughs> that's always me with uh, Shonen Jump yeah, manga. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for the anime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's good though, it's good. Kaiju Number 8 I haven't read, but I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. I was surprised people weren't calling it like Attack on Titan because it sounded like Attack on Titan. What? what? The premise, it was like turn into a big monster to fight a monster, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. To fight the monsters, we I became ha- the yeah. monsters. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get shit for saying that. But people are like, what the fuck, you just said that? Yeah, but Jump Plus has been fucking killing it recently. I mean, cause like everything from like the actual Shonen Jump has just like kind of Died in a fire, or just like been like, all right, well, I guess <laughs> <What's> <laughs> have that? a nice day. Yeah. What's JoJo published in? JoJo is published in Young Jump. I fucking, I can't. Which is, it. uh, it's like the more seinen variant of mm. Shonen Jump. That's why it's not called Shonen Jump. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't read any of the Shonen. I mean, I don't fucking read Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you don't typically read manga either, do you? I probably would if I could like read it here. I'd probably be more inclined because you can just pick it up at a station or a combi and mm, like, yeah. just pick it up and start reading. I never buy the magazines anymore though. It's just, yeah. I'd rather just like buy the actual physical books. It's so fucking thick. You're not even gonna read all of them. So it's like- Well, that's yeah. the thing. Like most people actually just kind of, it's like a newspaper. Like yeah. once you finish reading it, you just fucking chuck it in the recycle. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. <Yeah. laughs> I used to like, I never knew that like, I guess not etiquette, but like common trait. So I would just like keep buying them and it just fucking pile up. And I'm just like standing there with my yeah, mount to the show and be like, like, what a, do people do with these? Put it like collector's uh, editions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, you know. Maybe, yeah. I mean, but some people sell them uh, off as like- Yeah, collectors. I bet like the early jumps of, sh- uh, sh- uh, the early volumes of Shonen Jump are worth quite a fair amount. Of course, of course they oh, are. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but I like mean, like, it, books, it's, gotta right? be, it's gotta be pretty far back yeah, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be talking about like the 60s Shonen Jump stuff. Why don't you create a setup where you could have remote guests on the podcast? I just don't want remote because guests. We just don't, don't want we, we remote, don't remote guests. guests. I feel like you lose so much chemistry yeah, you if you're talking to someone online. And I, it's just unavoidable, right? Do you, know how, do you know how many times we're gonna run into, can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Because- what, yeah, You still there? What I hate especially is that like, Half a second delay between between yeah, like so that, yeah. that's enough for like to lose a joke opportunity. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like, right? Like, cut, exactly. cut it and like hit back with something. Yeah. I don't know. To me, it's just like I've just no interest in talking to a fucking monitor. That's, yeah, that's yeah. always been our etiquette though yeah. from the very beginning. It's like we we very yeah. early agreed being like let's yeah. not have remote guests because because yeah. one of the big selling points I think for our podcast is our chemistry and like mm. you mm. lose a lot of chemistry by interacting online. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know you can still have fun yeah. guests and fun times, but you lose something with could, the guests. Could you imagine if like all three of us were in separate rooms. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and also as well, like, you know, more often than not, it's quite intimidating as a, a guest who might not know us or we haven't spoken mm. to before. Yeah, 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 exactly. Who come, who maybe has to go on a Skype call with three people who already have their own established humor, their way of talking, they know yeah, how it works. Yeah. You know, to add on top of that, the awkwardness of like a Skype call. Is yeah, like, yeah. Fun. Yeah, especially because sometimes you, you know, you, sometimes you feel you want to talk, but you don't know when the right yeah. cue to 
like start talking is and because like mm. the physical context isn't there, right? You, yeah, you, yeah. You, you're you're kind of you're kind of just guessing, yeah. and that's why there's there's a lot of subtle things that get lost. Yeah, yeah. A, so we we board. always like say to people, it's like if you want to be on the show. Got to yeah. come in in person. A- every yeah. guest is coming in person. Every guest that's is how, coming yeah, in that's person. That's how it's going to be. Yeah. yeah, we're not going to change that. And I don't think there's going to be anyone like big or important enough the way we're just like, you know what, we'll make an I, Even if it was like, you know, just some, someone who is like giant big, I'd be like- yeah. Even if it's like, even if Obama was like, I want to come on, be because, like, bro, you got to fly out. Yeah, like. because like, I don't, I don't want to, because here's the thing. If it's like, if it's just there, if it's just like a Skype call or something, I feel like that's just an interview, <laughs> you yeah. know? Like, it literally is. Like it's, it's, it's not really a conversation because they're waiting to get something asked because they're not just going to naturally butt in, mm. right? There's 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 no going to be some any natural bouncing off each other because mm. it's they're they're waiting to you know be have a cue to start talking, and so that's that I think is the. I problem. love the number of people in this chat who think that we didn't get Cali. Oh, we, we, oh, you know, <laughs> you be careful what you say there. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to move on now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, are you guys going to watch the Nagatora series? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, what the fuck is? Nagatora? I don't understand the fucking controversy it got on what Twitter. Nagatora? Huh? Nagatoro. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, you've seen you've seen this girl. You've seen the girl. You've seen you've definitely seen this girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, isn't there like a hentai? No, it's done, the, by the a, author, it's done by a former hentai. Yeah, the, the author starts off with hentai. I don't hentai. know, I've seen a lot of hentai with that girl, I'm pretty sure. I mean, she's like the, she's like, uh, what's what's the other chick? Not Umaru? No, not Umaru. Um, what's like the short, fat titty girl? Uzaki. Uzaki. They, they all sound fucking Short, sad. fat titty girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you fucking, you, you got what I meant. You, yeah, I was like, I understood short, what you meant. short, fat titty. <laughs> I swear that's a hentai. It is definitely not a hentai. It's not I a hentai. A hentai but with but there are there are some it's, shows yeah. that I think are just made for the jinshis. Well, yeah, this is like, one of those like shows. It's like Uzaki's not a hentai, but there's a lot of hentai. Also. Yeah, same with know, I Nagatoro. I watched a hentai like of that girl. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm going crazy. You are <laughs> definitely because I I own all the volumes of the manga. It's definitely not a hentai. <laughs> Man. I mean, is it good? Because I haven't read it. It's so. fun. I mean, if I mean, you like your like Uzaki Chan, right? Yeah. yeah. If, if, you, if you like your if you shit. like your Iashke stuff and you like your Uzaki Chan stuff, then it's like it's it's fine. But I mean, because those are the shows where I feel like I have more exposure to the Dijinchis than the actual show Hon- itself. Honestly, like I find more entertainment of from the manga variants of those than the anime. I just feel like it just works in an an- a manga format, but not in an anime. Same right. with Uzaki. Like I wasn't fucking crazy over Uzaki, but yeah, I much prefer the manga over the anime. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'll probably watch it, but yeah, same yeah. here. I'll, I'll give it a few episodes as I usually do. Kaiju number eight is more like Pacific Rim. Mm-hmm. Is it? <laughs> I don't, not I don't know, really. I haven't read it, so. Isn't there an anime Pacific Rim? Is it? Yes, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I, I think there's one being made. Yeah, I don't I th- know. Mike Chat, there's, there's a Pacific Rim I anime, think, right? I think it's called Evangelion. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Yes. Never, no one's ever made that joke before. Oh. All right. Yes, there Got is. Him. Yeah, it's Got on. He. Yeah, it's on Netflix. There's a Pacific Rim anime. I'm okay. glad I'm not going insane. <laughs> wasn't yeah because wasn't Pacific Rim originally supposed to be the Ava movie? That's what I heard. Oh, I think that's just a meme though. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because, uh, well, I mean, because like an Ava live action was in the works for the longest time, but they couldn't convince Arno to say yes. I mean, he, he he made the right choice there. Yeah. I know it was um, like, no, fuck off. You're not making a live action. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then someone was like, guess we'll make it, but just change it to another name. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I recently rewatched uh, Shin Godzilla. Uh, I still haven't seen that. You haven't seen that? Uh, the Netflix movie? Yeah, it's, it's, it's on Netflix. No, no, it's not, it's not a Netflix movie. It was, a, it was a live action Godzilla movie that was directed by Hideaki Anno. That was done by right? Anno, the, yeah. the Evangelion director. Yeah. And... Man, that shit hits different when you watched it after you've lived in Japan, right? Yeah. Cause the, like the entire thing was made as like, kind of like a social commentary about how the Japanese government reacted to the tsunamis mm. and, and the earthquake. Mm. Um, and just watching it now after, after I've lived in Japan, I, I get it now. I, I I get why it became so big here because it's it's like half the movie is just people going to meetings and people complaining about how there's too many meetings. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and I'm just like, you know, on paper, this sounds like a boring movie, but you watch it and you think this is really fucking I've, interesting. I've heard 
only the like really good things about it, but it's really good. Just, yeah, I'm not really sure why. Just ne- I've never seen anything about Godzilla. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like if it's it's less of a Godzilla movie. Godzilla's moved used more as like a cultural a, pop culture. Yeah, as, 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 as yeah, I, I've heard it's a like way way more political than most Godzilla movies. I, I'd say it's closer to something like a political drama than it is mm. a Godzilla movie or a typical Godzilla movie because you're not watching it to see Godzilla fuck shit up. Yeah. You're just watching it to see what Arno says about like Japanese bureaucracy basically. Yeah, because basically. Cause I remember as well, like I, I saw, uh, what was the one that came out after that? Godzilla King of Monsters? Yeah. And where it's basically just Godzilla versus all the Godzilla monsters all in once. And I was like, man, this is like- it's the boss battle sign. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is the most monkey brain, like <laughs> literal just like monsters fighting monsters. And like a lot, so many people were like, eh, it was like not that great. I was like, I thought it was fucking awesome. Yeah. It's it's so funny as well, because you can see such a huge, like you, Anno makes it known that he directed Evangelion <laughs> during Shin Godzilla, right? Yeah. There's this scene where they start planning about how to take down Godzilla and shit like that. Yeah. And then fucking decisive battle starts playing, which is the dung, 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 dung. And like, all I can think was like, you know that Obama image where it's like Obama giving himself the, like the gold medal. I was just like, I know for God, for God's sakes, man. I know you directed Evangelion. You don't need to rub it in my face. I made Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, good movie. Check out Shin Godzilla. Yeah, I, I really want to watch it. Probably I've, one of my fa- probably my favorite Godzilla movie. Really? Because I, yeah. I fucking love the Godzilla movies. I've never watched a Godzilla movie. Is that bad? Uh, no, no, it's not, no, it's it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. Yeah. I know a lot of people haven't seen any of the Godzilla movies. I have no idea why I haven't. It's just, I, no one's ever like, yeah, you want to watch a Godzilla movie? I feel you need to kind of like, go out of your way to watch a Godzilla movie. Like yeah, it's, it's you, don't, not, you don't accidentally pick it on Netflix. Right, right. right. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. not a movie that's just like, oh, I mean, I've got time, I'll watch it mm, kind of yeah. thing. Like you, you have to have someone be like, no, you need to watch this Godzilla movie. Yeah, because it's like, for me, the only reason I watched Shin Godzilla was one, it was mainly because of Anna. Oh uh, no, yeah. That was, that was like the big starting point for me because I've never really cared too much about Godzilla movies. Like it's just, it's isn't, just, isn't it weird that the one Godzilla movie I haven't seen is the one that was made by Arno? Oh, I've literally seen every other Godzilla movie because I fucking love Godzilla. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of just like a monster movie, and I'm not yeah, like a great. massive fan of monster movie. I really, really enjoyed Pacific Rim. I, I quite. I, I mean, look, I I think last year or the year before, I finally watched Pacific Rim. Yeah, and I mean, it was like. Yeah. I feel like you lost a lot of the energy watching it on the TV because I feel like that's one- I definitely do think it was like a very cinematic movie. That's that's one movie that you go to the cinema and it's just pure fun. Yeah. Like I remember watching that first time and it was just like visual cocaine. I got so hyped. I wanted just like- I mean, it was fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felt like a kid again, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. getting excited over like big robots. Like they literally use the power of friendship to move these robots. <laughs> it's, it's actually <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I felt like it like, oh, uh, I like the scene where the one robot punched the monster and he used the rocket. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was hype as fuck. Yeah. That, was, that was fucking hype oh. as fuck. It's so enjoyable, but it's literally like too IQ to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Colin needs to go to sleep. I do, I'll, I'll just sleep live. Yeah, go for it. I saw someone earlier, they were like, when are you guys gonna do Apex, huh? Mm, when are you guys gonna join? I'm good. Why wouldn't you guys play Apex, huh? I can I play my favorite game, Pug B? Yeah, Pug yeah. B. <laughs> why, why no Apex, guys? Why no Apex? It's can perfect. I play day one? It's day one? Sell, sell me on it's it. Three, sell, sell me on it's it. It's a three player game, right? Okay. So first of all, it's pretty much, they designed Trash Taste in mind. I sleep. They, des- <laughs> they, they designed it, right? So it's just a fun game. You play with your friends or you get to kill people and survive. You've literally just described Every maybe- Every FPS game. Like there's the, from, from your, Description, there's no difference from that and just COD. It's, yeah. pretty, uh, it's more fun. I don't you're, know. You're like, <laughs> Cod, I don't know. Sell me the game. Okay, I'm, I'm open to be playing the game, but the only thing you can describe is it's fun. You yeah. go, you go. That, pew, that, pew. You literally just did like the it's whole like, like, like- I'd say it's like in between like COD and like Overwatch, like where it's like kind of like a hero based- Question, what shooter? if I don't like both of those? Why would you not like both of those? Have you, tried, fucking, have you tried both? Yes, they're fucking boring. They're when, literally when did, the when same When did you game? play Overwatch? when it first came out, cause it was fucking unavoidable. I literally had every fucking person telling me, right. oh, let's play Overwatch. All let's right, play right, fucking right, Overwatch. I'll, 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 I'll help you like where your okay, monkey how, brain. How about, okay, okay what, sell me on the gameplay mechanics. All right, it is a visual novel. <laughs> a visual, <laughs> with JRPG elements. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Where you okay. can collect ammunition for your gun that will level it up to a bigger magazine where you can shoot the other enemies. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> 
<laughs> Go on. <laughs> on a map that you can explore. You, you, you okay. get dropped off in one part of the map, right? And you have to explore all of it. Mm. Okay. Mm. But there's a twist, right? Because normal JRPGs are like, you can you have to go to this area. No, right. This one's like, this one, you, you know, you normally you can explore. This game, they're like, no, you have to go to this exact location. And everyone else <laughs> in the game is going to that place. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like an anti-exploration game. It's kind of exciting, really. It kind of, kind of changes the game. Really. The only thing I got out of that is that you have not played enough JRPGs. <laughs> that's, that's all I got out of that. Is there anything different about the gameplay mechanics from any other Yeah, FPS I mean, it's game? on a spot, it's hard to explain, but it's like totally different to any other Battle Royale or anything like that. Like, it's like actually fun. I don't know, Fortnite's, <laughs> Fortnite's not fun. I don't know. Fortnite was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, like, tell me the difference between Fortnite and Apex. Okay, so Fortnite is more the like core mechanic is like the building where you like build Minecraft structures. Right. Yeah. Uh, but then like af after a while, everyone just got so fucking good at building that it became not fun because mm. unless you can build like a 10 story house in like two seconds and shout at a 12 year old, it's, you know, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> right, uh, right. I mean, and uh, PUBG, PUBG's really slow really slow and then you right. just get sniped and it's like okay cool <laughs> but like in apex it takes like quite a lot of bullets to kill you so the gunfights feel quite satisfying they're quite um i feel like they're a bit you have to like actually use your brain <laughs> like you can't just run in and shoot like yeah. you do, it's more about positioning and running around with your teammate and using your, all your abilities because you're all like heroes with like abilities is there like a learning curve to it i mean there's a learning no, curve for every easy. game but super fucking easy because like the, the core mechanic is just shoot the other guy but then on top of that there's like all right when do you push another team? When do you, you know, when do you all use your abilities? What characters go well with each other, you know? It's like one character will be like, okay, you can drop a shield that everyone inside of it's invincible. Mm. And then, but someone else is like an ultimate that's like rain down a bunch of fucking missiles on you. So you can like, you know, counter it and stuff. It's good fun. <laughs> is this how Connor feels when he talks about JR? Yeah, when maybe, we talk about maybe. JRPGs yeah. too? It's it's like, yeah. I, 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 in my head, I'm just like, this is literally no different from every other game. I've it's just it's difficult because it's like, when you explain an FPS, it sounds so much more boring than a JRPG. Because if you explain any JRPG, it sounds fucking amazing. Right. It's like epic. Because you know? it usually is. No, because it's not normally not. It's, <laughs> you explain it, and then you realize that ninety nine percent of JRPGs are just fucking menu and menus and waiting and cutscenes. It's like fuck. Oh, don't, don't tease me like that, Connor. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a fucking great time. No cutscenes, first of all. I love that part. I don't know. Like menuing drives me insane. Like people like love getting tricked into using a spreadsheet. You know what I mean? I don't know why. What kind of JRPGs have you been playing? Like every Final Fantasy has like a fucking spreadsheet of like menu options. It's like so confusing. I mean, <laughs> is it? I don't, I, I, I'm, it? Not, I'm not yeah. a big Final yeah. Fantasy person either, honestly. I mean, I have played every Final Fantasy and I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking, just talking about inventory management? Yeah, yeah I mean, inventory management sucks. It's like <laughs> the worst thing ever. Why people like that? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I just play JRPGs for the story yeah, and so uh, characters and- No cutscenes, I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I will happily sit through an hour cutscene if it's a good story. Yeah. That's. That's oh that's God. the difference between me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm there with you, man. At what point is it not a game anymore? You like, like you have such minimal input. I, t I d that's a good point. I don't know. Like, what percentage of a of a game needs to be you using inputs on a controller for it to be considered a game? Zero percent. Ten percent, twenty percent depends I, on I've your. Never, I've never thought of the percentage. It, it, well, it, yeah, it depends. It's, it's, yeah, I've never thought like mm, this. This scene right now is twenty percent you know, game. Because if you put a DVD in, you got to go through the menus. That's mm. about that's a fucking JRPG experience in itself. You know, <laughs> you got to sit through the fucking you won't steal. You got to pick. All right, which season are we on? Which episode do we end on? Twenty four. Are we on? Are you sure we're on episode eighteen? All right, we'll just click episode eighty. Ah, oh, fuck, it was episode sixteen. All right, go back out the menu. Go back. All right, restart. I don't know. I, I feel like, but I feel like I'm very, very picky with games. I, that's why mm. there's like so few games that I actually end up playing. No, not not playing, but completing. Yeah, for, mm, I'm right. the same. Like I'll pick up every game, but whether I finish yeah, but, it or not is a different especially story. Especially on Steam. Steam is like, cause you can immediately just tab out and be like, nope. Yeah, exactly. Like, when you're on like mm. PS4, PS5, I don't use PS5, Xbox, whatever. Mm. Like you, it's a little more effort to change discs or change your game. Like yeah, it's not yeah. as easy. But so that's like with <laughs> with Nier, right? Like I bought it because when it was on sale and I was like, this is Nier Automata by the way. Mm. Yeah. I started it and I was already at that stage of, I'm itching to close this and play a different game. Yeah, I, I, I was at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. told me it was getting, it got good. Because everyone good. hyped it up. Yeah. And so the moment that they made me redo it when I wasn't already that sold on it, I was like, nah. yeah. Mm. I, I feel like the perfect game for me, um, I don't know like it's it's got it's like it's got to have a good story obviously but no. it's not just a good story <clears throat> it has to have like decent enough gameplay as well for me to f for it for for it to like for for me to continue playing mm. it I guess 
Um, yeah. Like it needs both. It can't have one or the other. And yeah. I know plenty of games that have great stories, but yeah. I've just never played because the gameplay bored me. And then equally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> equally, I want to punch Connor on the on the face, <laughs> on the face, <laughs> on the face. <laughs> the movie laugh. Not in the face. Also, the face. I, okay. I mean, I mean, somehow mm. Apex also is made by EA, and somehow. It's probably one of the best games I've ever seen regarding free to play with like microtransactions. Like there's barely any and it never shoves them in your face ever. And it's made by EA. How is that possible? <laughs> How is that possible? It's like it's like a it's like Yo Star making a game that doesn't yeah. have gacha in it. <laughs> I mean, you're you're talking you're works. talking about a ga- you're talking to a gacha game player here, going up. <laughs> That's just like whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, like I, f- I feel like part of the reason why I'm like I play so many gacha games is because I feel like gacha games just suits my play style perfectly, right? Mm. Because mm. normally for like most games, I feel like I need to play it for a good three four hours, right? Mm. But what I, what I like about gacha as what oh, a lot yeah, of people don't like about gacha, which is the stamina system. Because mm. to me, I see the stamina system and I'm just like, okay, I can only play for so much. So there's no pressure on me to like have a sit down sesh and play this for a long time. Because yeah. when I play, when I play like a console game or a PC game, I can't just log in and log out, right? But with gacha games, it's just so casual for me. That's I'm like me being the casual new yeah, gamer like, that I am. I can just play for like half an hour and I know there's no pressure for me to play more because that's how much stamina is on, stamina you're, is on you're the system. literally just explaining like building up a dependency. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like if you drink alcohol, right? Like it's, if you drink it all in one go, you let's say you have like three bottles of vodka, right? right? You drink all you drink all those three bottles of vodka. You're gonna throw up. You're gonna be like, "Fuck, dude!" You know, I don't really want alcohol for a while. Mm. If you have like one sip of vodka a day, no, yeah, I but we're talking we're talking about video games here. Yeah, but this is this the gambling's the same. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> like they're, they're, that's this the is way. Totally different from gambling. Yeah, but the way that I think it's genius because that when they limit you, mm-hmm. for like most people, they're gonna be limited. And they're gonna be like, "Well, I'll come back tomorrow." Yeah, I and like then that. I'll come back again. I like that. It's, and it's, then, then you got me hooked on your game. But I, I actually, I've, I've quit a lot of gacha games because when I find I don't get any more enjoyment out of it, I just quit it. Mm. Like I, I, no. I, I straight, I've like- And it's easy to quit too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, like, I'm not saying it's easy for everyone, but like for me at least, mm. it, I'm someone who like, I, you know, I, 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 I meme it up, but I, f- I feel like I can control my addictions pretty well because- <laughs> Like, just, I mean, it's just funny because everyone online thinks you're like a yeah, fucking I, I know, a crippling I know. addict. Like people think I'm a crippling addict. Where like I remember when we first yeah, you say that you spend money and gotcha once, and everyone thinks because, you're like because, putting be, your life savings because into I made it. a video about it, right? And I yeah. like like people people like I I mean like people memes me up as being the addict. Where I, I remember like when we first started getting to Ark Knights, I remember because mm. I made I mean like I was doing this for a video, right? I yeah, mean yeah, I got yeah. into Ark Knights like a month after you guys, mm. and I was purely because I was making the gacha game video. And I had spent less during that playtime for Ark Knights, even though like I was incentivized to spend money for like, you know, I spent X amount of money on gacha games mm-hmm. than like Connor. Like Connor spent, I, I remember I remember uh, hearing about how much you spent. Yeah, I spent like $800. Yeah, yeah. and that's like, I, I <laughs> that like I remember hearing that and I was thinking, how the fuck did you spend $800 in that one month? No, like, it, wasn't, it wasn't like one month. It's like over a, quite a while. Was it quite a while? Cause yeah, I, while, I remember you spent like a fuck ton. And I, I, I remember- I think though, out of the three of us, you probably spent the most on Yeah, I, I remember thinking, oh, how course, the yeah, fuck maybe, did you yeah. spend so much? Because I, I, I went to this video, I was like, a, it was, I was mm. because that was the first time I'd probably got into the gacha. So I was mm. like, I'll, I'll see what the spending habits are. If I feel mm. like spending money, I will, I won't mm. say no. And yeah. somehow you'd found a way to spend more money, even though- Yeah, I, I think <laughs> I think when, I think I spent like 500 bucks on my own. And then when I was in talks to them about making the video about Ark Knights mm-hmm. is where I just, I spent like 300 bucks on like, just like um, stamina. Mm. Like I was just literally just like grinding it. Right. Like, Cause yeah. I just wanted to be like OP as fuck for the video. Mm. Yeah. So that I could be like, yeah, I've done everything. everything <laughs> on hard mode, all I'm done. I'm satisfied. <laughs> but like after, I'd say after about two, three months of playing, I was like, yeah, there's really like not much to this game. Like, yeah, I feel like I mm. cycle between gacha games. But it's- like, I think if you were able to play gacha games, like actually play the game like you would any normal game, you would realize how fucking boring these games are way quicker. Because mm. you would realize how vapid and empty they are. I mean, it depends on the gacha game, mm. honestly. Because yeah, like, but then they- again, you don't like grinding. Yeah. Who the fuck likes grinding? It's like, it's- the reason they keep you coming back is they give you just enough play time, right? Mm. Where you're like, you don't realize it's shit and then they give you the daily challenges. And the daily challenges mm. you feel like I have to do. To them. me, the grinding in gacha games is like the equivalent of watching like 
watching like an oddly satisfying video or <laughs> listening to ASMR, you know what I mean? It's something that just satisfies something really small in you and you, you, don't, you don't go out and you're just like, bruh, I watched the best ASMR the other night. It's, 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 you, know, you know what I mean? It's, 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 just, it's just something that just- It's something to fill the void. Yeah, right? it's, just yeah. Something, like, okay. it's just something comfortable. Okay, yeah. so right? would you, you wouldn't put, I assume you would even put gacha games on the same level as something like Persona 5. No, no. It's like a totally different experience. Oh yeah, yeah. of course, because yeah. with gacha games, most of the time with like autoplay, yeah. you don't even, you, grinding is literally just pressing the, a button the, and leaving your phone there. The selling point for yeah. gacha games is not the selling point for normal games, yeah. right? But then isn't that inherently just like a bad thing? Cause they're just selling you on the fact that they're mediocre. No, because the, I feel like there's the best gacha games to me are the ones that have the right amount of gameplay in it where you are engaged enough, but not having too much where you have to be overly invested in it. There's there's mm. a fine balance between what a fun, and also there's a story as well. And that's that's mm. another element that you don't give a shit about. But I feel like there's a fine balance between having where of what you look for in a good gacha game. And it's not what you would look for in a typical console mm. game or typical PC game. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a completely different selling point. I, mean, it's, I don't know. Yeah. To me, it just seems like a lot of these companies have figured out how to make a game for cheap and then make more money than they would from actually making a good game. I, I mean, I, I've, yeah. I've, I feel, to me, it's like, why would I want to waste any amount of time daily on a game that's just mediocre when I can just do any, literally anything else or play any other game that I actually really enjoy? Like, cause like if, if I'd played Arcanites for like nine hours in one day, I probably would have been like, yeah, this game kind of sucks. But if I play like a game like Apex, which was like I could easily play for nine hours. I'm like, this core gameplay is just fucking good. Like this is just clean. You know what I mean? This literally is just a, that's your prerogative, bro. Like, no. well, it literally yeah, that's is. your, just your, that's opinion, like your opinion, man. Like that, that's all I'm getting out of this. But you, but you recognize that the gaming experience is like, less than something. It depends, depends what you look for in a gaming experience. That's, yeah, that's totally your prerogative. Cause for like, for, like, for me- I, just, playing, I can't comprehend like, why like, you want like, like a shit game. Playing something like League and you know Overwatch, I haven't played Apex, yeah. but playing something like that is actually fucking exhausting to me. It's, it's it literally like, because I need to get invested enough in the game. And mm. like, sometimes you just wanna mm -hmm. just, sometimes you just wanna chill out and listen to lo-fi beats, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's- Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of like, if I wanted to watch like a movie, right? And maybe I don't have time for a movie. I just, in my head, I wouldn't want to watch like a, you know, a, I don't know, what's the best, uh, that's a terrible analogy. I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Like, cause you, you're essentially, you don't want the full experience. You want like a mini bite sized experience. Yeah. But to me, I'd rather just not have that and just save myself for like the good thing. You know, I'd rather mm. not, I'd rather just do anything else, right? Watch a TV show, watch a YouTube video, than play a game that's just like mediocre. I and mean, that, it, yeah, that, that, I mean, I, I don't think it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think it's as mediocre as some of the fucking YouTube videos we watch. I, I, I think <laughs> it's as mediocre as most of like the media we consume. Cause mm. I mean, not, not, all, not all media you consume yeah. is like top tier A material, no, no, right? But there's like rare scenarios where it's very rare. I'm just watching a YouTube video and that's all I'm doing. Like, I feel like it's, I'm just, I'm either working or like doing something that's like, I don't know, satisfying. Or playing Apex. Like yeah. Apex working out, you know, I'm always trying to do something that isn't just like playing a gacha game. Cause I remember when I would just sit there and play Ark Knights <laughs> and after like 20 minutes, I'm like, the fuck am I doing? I'm, I'm fucking looking at an autoplay. This is so fucking sad. Like the autoplay is like the saddest thing ever invented because the game recognizes that it's not good enough to require any fucking input. Like, isn't that sad? Isn't uh, autoplay a sad feature? I think what's more sad is the fact that you have it on autoplay and yet you're sitting there just watching. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, but, that's, no, but that's like, what's isn't, sad isn't, to me. Isn't, yeah. yeah, but the, isn't autoplay just inherently just a sad thing to have to put in the game? That the game is the game is somehow requiring gameplay that requires you to keep it open, but it just isn't any fucking gameplay. Isn't that weird? I mean, Why is that okay? I mean, there's no I, like autoplay movie where you play it in the background. You're like, oh, sick, I watched it. Well, I, I, I feel it. like that's, that's. I feel like what? that's what you do with yeah, YouTube that's videos. That's what you do with though. YouTube no, 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 videos. Right? Isn't like you weren't watching the movie. You don't. No, like, no, 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 that's no, what no. you do though. No, 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 no. no, no. It's you, like if you left it on in another room, not even close to you, you're not playing it. You're not touching it. I feel like it, I've visited your place where you've done that. No, no, but I wouldn't say you, I no, watched, what, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't leave a movie on in like my bathroom. What, 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 what and then I'm come back what, later and be like, man, that movie was epic. What, what, you know what, what I mean? No, like, what, what, I didn't fucking watch it. What I'm saying is it, it's it to me it's the equivalent of how you consume a lot of YouTube where you're doing something, you put this on in the background and you're aware of it. That's you're, different. You're aware me, of going, mm. I, I don't I mean that's that's like that's 
to me, that's what gadget games are. It's just something mm. that's going on in the background and something to check it's just on. Just white noise. Yeah, it's just like like a nice bit of white noise, nice nice bit of like you know minimal inputs. And if I really want to have a longer play session, I have a longer play session. I don't know. To, to me, it's like owning a piano and being like, I'm sick. I'm gonna practice. Puts on like the DJ mode, and then just goes away and then lets DJ mode play, and then come back be like, damn, that was some good piano practice. Cause you didn't do anything. You didn't put any input. You just let it do. But you're, 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 you say the, the, that as if though the entire game is like that. No, you, you, you okay. Ninety percent of Arknights is autoplay. No, because you're like you're saying you're you're saying that like it's there's something to learn, right? Because with like you you literally use piano uh, practicing okay, piano, true, right? Because that's true. that's a skill set. Because yeah, that's enough, that's, that's how bad, you view. That's a bad analogy. Yeah, that no, I'm but trying that's, to think of like. But the, but, uh, that, but I understand why you picked that analogy because that's how you view games. Well, you view an, games as like a skill you yeah, learn. Yeah, yeah. But it's an input, right? Like gaming should require input. Don't you think so? Right, um, but. <sighs> The level of how much input I mean, it is is dependent on. Yeah, the I mean, it's, it's different types game. of games. You know, sometimes like I want to cookie clicker. That's understandable. You know, it's, it's like sometimes I want to play a visual novel, and that's just reading with extra clicking. You yeah. know, but <laughs> I'd argue you're doing more there though than autoplay, right? I mean, like depends, I, I, I just right? think you can autoplay a visual novel as well. Yeah, you yeah, can autoplay visual novels, right? <laughs> I mean, it's 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 like it's. It comes down to what you look for in a gaming yeah. experience, right? Because for me, you know, I, I totally get it. I totally get why people would not think that gacha games are fun. I wouldn't mm. even like, for me as a gacha game player, I wouldn't even technically call it fun. It's just, <laughs> no, no. What is it then? Huh? It's not fun? It's just satisfying. It's it's having something in, like I said, it's like- It's like, it's like, it's like, like watching an oddly satisfying compilation being like, that was fun. Yeah, it's, it's satisfying. It's, it's it's not, I mean, I understand people have different ways of playing, but mm. I just, to me, it's uh, not playing at all is the one I can't understand, which is like, I've not, you know, I can understand- Yeah, but again, the, the, the definition of not playing at all, I feel is dependent on the person. I, you, I you know, just, you will you will say that visual novels is not playing at all, while to someone no, else- No, I would that say this, I would say visual novels is way more input than autoplay. I think autoplay is- Except the, when you compare it to any other game. What do you mean? Like if, okay, if you took Gacha out of that equation and you compared visual novels to any other game, you would look at the visual novel and be like, there's no gameplay in that. Oh <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean- if You're, you're only saying on, that because you're, you're yeah, comparing yeah, it to- Yeah, if you're talking on scales of input, yeah. like definitely autoplay in a Gacha game is the lowest form of- gaming in Okay, existence. but then what if you put the visual novel on autoplay? I think that's more input. You're actually having to look at the screen and like- <laughs> What is the difference? <laughs> cause you're actually having to, cause you, like you said, you don't watch the autoplay, right? No. Like, so like, is, the, is there a game even being played at that point? No, it's just grinding. Yeah, yeah. it's just grinding. Like you, said, grinding. you don't like grinding. Yeah. No, who, who does? Who wants to click autoplay? I mean, it's, it's not the grinding itself. It's just, like I said, having little bursts of achieve, like getting little bursts of achievements every day, mm. right? Feels, man, that feels- That's literally feels what grinding it's, it's just, is. It feels just, wrong, man. It feels like I'm being, my brain's being manipulated in that way. You, <laughs> you don't feel like that? Your brain's being like fucked up. I mean, people people, people do this with like anything, right? Mm. It's, it's, just, it's just sometimes you just look for a game that you can't lose at. Right, mm. and that's just gacha games. And pe people, people are gonna be like, "Yo, Gun's such a beta gamer," you know? Can't believe, can't You're believe not Gun. You're an omega male. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm not an alpha male. Was it like, sigma male? I, what is like, it? What's, I, the, what's the meme? Sigma male. Sigma male. Sigma male. <laughs> there is a meme. I'll show you. I'll show you this later. Right. Really funny, but, but like, there's like, the, like I, I've, t I've talked about this before, where you know, I, I look for engagement. In a lot of the times I look for engagement in other parts of my life, like mm. in real life, you know? And yeah, and that's like, I, you know, sometimes when I load up a gacha game, I'm literally, I'm not looking for engagement. If I do, I actually load up like a PC or console game. If it's I'm like, looking, it's like just flicking open Twitter, <laughs> isn't it? It's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your, that, your brain's on autopilot. Yeah, that's, that's a, it's, it's like flicking open Twitter. I, mean, I, I, it's can, like, I can, yeah, I can, it's just for some reason for me, it's like, I can understand every single gaming experience out there. Hell, Cookie Click is a great game. Balloon Tower Defense, great game. <laughs> But autoplay on some of these gacha <laughs> games, I'm like, this should just, this is just lazy. This is just, <laughs> you literally, <laughs> let's not make new levels. Let's make you replay the same fucking levels again and again, like some kind of sick psychopath. I mean, I would argue that if you get to the point where you're literally just like most of, most of your game, yeah. the, your gacha game is just yeah. autoplay, then you are then way it's too- it's time to quit then that it's, Then game. it's time to quit that game. Yeah. Because I like, you know, I, I like autoplay every now and again, but if I'm getting to a point where I wake up and I see auto like play. the autoplay yeah. thing, Mm. That just means I'm like in the late game, right? Yeah, that's because that, that means you got nothing that, to do. I, I think it just hit me one day where I was clicking autoplay and I was going to click it again. I'm like, why? Yeah, exactly. Why, why do I click this? Yeah, and so a fucking number goes up. 
Does yeah. that make me happy? No, no, no that's not. No. Well, then it, well, then you can stop it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah I don't. Because, like, f- for me, if I ever get to that point when I all my entire life is just seeing numbers go up, then I'm just like, okay, time to find a new one. Time. I, I do that know. as a job. I don't want that to be already <laughs> be in the fucking. Yeah, my game. I, I, you know, it's 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 time to find a new one. Yeah. Um, and I feel like. Like, like, yeah, like I said, I look for minimum engagement with with, with gacha games because I feel like that's gacha games exist in a different spectrum than other normal games. The right? sexy beat said, "Can't tell if replaying podcast episode or actually live stream." <laughs> we are, we are live. We, we, we are live. This is literally, gacha. this is literally like, <laughs> fucking dedicated like six episodes of the podcast to shit like this because we can never agree on this. Yeah, I know. Every time, uh, every time, I feel it's just time to move on from this conversation. Just, Gaming is sham. Just yeah. agree to disagree. That's all it is. Yeah. At this point, I can't read the chat when it's complicated. <laughs> it's just too, it goes too fast. Uh, do you guys usually invite guests onto your podcast, or have there been guests that request to appear on Trash Days? Bit of both. Is have that- we ever requested someone to appear on the podcast? What do you mean? I go, sorry. Repeat the question. <laughs> it says, "Do you usually do you guys usually invite guests onto your podcast, or have there been guests that request to appear on Trash Days?" Hmm. I think most people we invite, right? We invite. Yeah. yeah but there's, there's been a few who have like requested. Yeah, I mean, most of the time we already know the people we're inviting. Mm, mm. Um, and sometimes people don't request to come on. They ask, hey, I'm available. Mm. Can I come on? And we say, yeah. yeah. It's it's a little weird to say request to come on because that's almost like inviting yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> and most of the time if someone does that, I just feel like, uh, who, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Cause yeah, we get that. Yeah, but um, no. Most of the time, it's like either like someone's a friend of someone, or you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's not normally we know each other, and a lot of the times we are definitely aware of each other mm. already. Mm. So it's pretty rare that we get a stranger on. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> How many questions came through during like that discussion, by the way? Not a lot, actually. Most people were actually just listening. <laughs> Here's an easy way to get them into Apex. Almost every VTuber plays that's it. True, that's I true. I literally do not care. I've been playing it and then I've like, there'll people be VTubers in their name in my yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, oh, wow. Just, I'm like, chat, chat. Is there, are they a big YouTuber? Check them out, check them out. We'll kill them. Uh, you, you can make me try whatever game you want if you guys try it. No, nah, it's okay. <sighs> Why not, Joe? Do you only want to try new things? We can experience each other's, you know, swamp. No. Be a little open-minded, you know. Oh. No, I'm good. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, See, guys, I'll, you can, I'll you can try blame it. Joey. If I'll, you, uh... I'll, I'll try it if we try out fighting games together. Sure. How about that, Connor? Sure, I'll try. I'm, I'm not I, even good at fighting no, what games. Do you mean? He was having fun playing Guilty Gear the other day with me. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's okay. I didn't even know what was going on. But, uh, you know, I couldn't because all the fucking Dude, instructions. I, I, I saw the smile you gave when you won against me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't that know, was the most genuine smile Connor had ever given me. I didn't know what was going on. I, I'm down to try any game. I just want you guys to try Apex. I think you'd actually like it if you gave it a shot. I mean, I'm sure I will. It's a really good three player game. Really, really good three player game. Like I I, I can get into those types of games, mm. like, you know, competitive games. I don't know why I said those, type. those Compe- types of games. Competitive games. Like I, I like getting into competitive mm. games every now and again. I just, I guess I can just, I already have so much in my tank right now. Literally that, every like, time someone has said, try this game, you'll love it. I've ended up not liking it. Yeah, because like well, literally with, every with single time, fighting games they were like, fun. "Try Apex, you'll love it." Fighting games are fun, but it has to be in person. Fighting games, well, yeah, are, of course. Yeah, you know, if you can't like rub it in the other person's face, that yeah, you want to lost, like, what's the point? It like, needs to be two. It needs to be two fucking machines, opposite sides, <laughs> so you can stand up and look over like, each other. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. like for fun. me, for me, playing competitive games is probably how you would feel like. Having you know how you felt when you realized that you were pressing autoplay on Arcanites, right? For me, it was just for me. I don't I don't get anything about learning a skill in a competitive game. So I you know I, I've you know sometimes I play League, and then after a game I just realize, man, I kind of just waste wasted forty minutes. Didn't really gain anything <laughs> from not, that experience. What what? Oh, so you think like a, a story is inherently more? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've. I, f- I feel like to me, an, a story is inherently, I, I don't know what the right word is, but I feel like I'm progressing. Fulfilled. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm progressing towards something. Mm. I feel I feel like I'm, you know, I, I want to be working towards an achievement. And for you me- You know what I think the problem is? I literally think like, I don't really play games to achieve a skill. 
No, I don't. I don't, do I don't see either. getting good at games as a skill. I don't do that either. I, 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 I think that's the problem with me. I, I play a game to fill up a progress uh, progress bar, yeah. and sometimes oh, progress. Pog- progress. Pog- progress. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's pretty progress. <laughs> it's like the female <laughs> pog. I mean, I didn't even know this was a thing, but Guop Jesus says, "What do you guys think on people trying to cancel Maid Dragon because of the new Lolly character?" Is that a thing? Is that a thing? I didn't know about that. <laughs> I literally don't know anything about the new. May Dragon. I didn't even know there was a new season coming. I'll be honest. I knew there was, I, I knew I knew there there was, was a new season. season. I, I didn't. I don't, I don't know anything about like this <laughs> new character. Is that a thing? I've, I've, I haven't fucking heard of it. What yes, games? No, what yes. games did the boy play together? What is Mind that? Pop? Who did that? <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I didn't know that was a thing, girl. Yeah, I did not know that was. I don't a know. Thing it's either. just Twitter in it. That's yeah, it's just Twitter being Twitter. Yeah, it's just nothing. Nothing new here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, you know, it, mean, it'd be like that. Rigged yeah. vote. <laughs> <laughs> if you put anything with VTubers in it, I'm sure that would have won the vote. Yeah. yeah. Rigged poll. You guys want to know something? What? I have never played Minecraft. I played it I, once. I have been really getting into it recently. <laughs> just because like, I've been trying to find a you'll, game. You'll love Apex then. I've been literally, <laughs> shut up. I've been literally, I've just been trying to find a game where it's like, just, I don't know. It's really fucking, uh, what's the word? Not relax, therapeutic. Mm-hmm. Cause it's just like, Oh, I love it then. Yeah, it's yeah. literally just like sit down and just fucking do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, yeah. Right, and so, I don't know. I find it. I've been really finding it therapeutic recently. I've only played it once. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, I had a fun when I played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I, just I, just, I just never want to play it for some reason. Never get like the urge to do it. I watch yeah. I watch YouTube videos of it fair, fair amount, and I'm just like, cool. Yeah, I yeah. can definitely see myself getting into it. I think my yeah. my biggest like I, I, th- I think my biggest problem with Minecraft is I kind of need. An objective. Mm. I, 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 I like if if there was like something in Minecraft that had an objective, I'd probably like pick it up. And I get mean, into you know, it. you can try and like you know get to end game or whatever, right? Or what know. does that mean? I, I've, I've how do you get to end game in Minecraft? Well, there's a story in Minecraft. There's a story in Minecraft. There's a story mode. Is it? Well, yeah. it's, not, it's not so much a story, but beat it's like the there's, Ender a, Dragon. there's a final. There's a final boss called the Ender Dragon, <laughs> and if you beat him, then you get to the credits, kind of thing. How did I never know about this? God, I'm <laughs> we should play it. <laughs> we should. I, I reckon you'd really. I'd like be it. down for Minecraft. Yeah, like Minecraft or like uh, I reckon you'd really like uh, Terraria as well. It's literally Literally just two D Minecraft. Well, yeah, you can do a, we could do a trash taste. Because I got like I got like campaign. yeah I got like super super into Subnautica. I don't know if that's mm. anything like. Yeah. I've never played Subnautica. I Subnautica. think it's similar genre. Yeah, it's it? similar genre. It's like a craft like a survival crafting yeah, survival yeah, kind of exactly kind of deal. Yeah. and I got like. I got like super, super addicted to Subnautica. Like, you, yeah. you know, when you find a game where you're just waking up and the first thing, the, thir- the first thought in your head is just to play that game. That, yeah. was, that was me with Subnautica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's like my, that's like my perfect kind of game, but I've tried other survival, you know, survive. What, what's, what's, what's the fucking, what's the fucking genre? Su- survival? Survival, survival adventure? Survival? I don't know what, what it is. What is the genre? But like the big difference what is, what between, is say? the big difference between that Subnautica and every other survival game I played is that there was a story with an objective and mm. that's what got me through. Oh, it just says Minecraft is a sandbox video game. That's not right. <laughs> I mean, that's sandbox, pretty... sandbox survival. Sandbox survival, yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. it. I guess that's probably it. Yeah, and I, I, I've seen I've seen Terraria as well and that, that looks like a really cool oh, game as well. I was obsessed with Terraria when yeah. it first came out. But um, yeah, there's been a lot of games like that. Um, uh, I recently played uh, fucking Stardew Valley as well. That one's really fucking fun. So long. Sydney's played that for, Sydney's fucking obsessed with that I game. I mean, it's man. literally Harvest Moon, yeah. but like with less <laughs> graphics. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally 8-bit Harvest Moon. I could not actually believe how much of ha- Stardew Valley was just a straight rip yeah, off it's of very Harvest similar, Moon. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's saw. literally one for one. I was quite impressed with how much he, the dev managed to get away with it. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, that's Copy very- your homework. Yeah, it is, it is, it literally but is. But apparently it's like, it takes it takes like Harvest Moon, but just makes it even better. That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I never really played a lot of Harvest Moon because I was mostly just like an Animal Crossing kind of person, but- I never yeah. saw that in stores when I was a kid. What, Harvest Moon? Yeah, I never saw it anywhere. Yeah, I never saw it either. No, it wasn't big in the UK, I don't no, think. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it's mostly like a, it was big in the US. I know it's that. like fucking Sonic Riders everywhere. I remember that being everywhere. Sonic Riders. <laughs> Sonic Riders. Yeah. Is that the one where you're like on the yeah the hoverboard? Yeah, the yeah, hoverboard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so fucking hard to control the hoverboard <laughs> as well. Yeah, well, that was right at the peak of like shitty 3D like Sonic spinoffs, right? Yeah, that was that was oh, that was like around the time with like Sonic Heroes and yeah, shit like that. Yeah. They were like giving GameCubes away when I bought one. Like I think <laughs> I bought my GameCube for like fifty pounds from yeah. Game. Wow. With, th- with three games. So you know they were desperate to get rid of those GameCubes. 
<laughs> Sad to think it's probably worth more now than it was when it was they were selling it. I would rather oh. see the trash taste Nuzlocke Pokemon special over Apex. How the fuck are we going to do a Nuzlocke with three yeah. people? No, <laughs> you need one person. Apex yeah. special coming soon. I mean, Connor's already done a Nuzlocke. <laughs> yeah, I've done a Nuzlocke. And I'm doing a Nuzlocke currently. Uh, play Skullgirls. Have you played Skullgirls? Yeah, I've played Skullgirls. Yes. Yeah, do you yeah. like it? Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I played it years ago, like four or yeah. five years ago. Maybe. Skullgirls is quite fun. One of the first games I bought on Steam, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it a fun game. It's decent. I mean, yeah, Skullgirls is super fun. It's got like a really dedicated fan base, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like any fighting game has a really dedicated fan base. <laughs> I suppose you have to be with a fighting game, right? Mm. Yeah. Because there's no way you can just casually get into a fighting game. True, true. Connor, when are you inviting Tyler one onto stream? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> he's never gonna join, but if he wanted to, he's very <laughs> welcome to. <laughs> I'd love to, it'd be an honor, but he only streams League. He's like cripplingly addicted to League. Yeah. Mm. I feel bad. He's just playing League, just never stopped. He is, he is addicted like to League. Did you, yeah. Like last season, he did like, played like 18 games of League, 18 hours of League straight or something. How? Jesus and he was just God. losing game after game because he was trying to get to like, I think challenger top, I think. And he just, yeah, he was playing for like 18 hours straight or something ridiculous. Jesus fuck, man. Like not even intentional. He was just like addicted. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's normal for him. It's, that's <laughs> fucking insane, bro. That's an addiction. Yeah, like, yeah that's that, an addiction. Like, that right that clip where he's like, I it. hate this game, <laughs> but I'm fucking addicked. I, like, lo I love like that clip. The that, that came from the fucking soul. That, yeah, like, that I did, see that, that clip and I'm just like, <laughs> you rarely see someone just speak from the soul, but that was one of those clips. I was like, are you okay, bro? Like, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for that man. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the problem right now is that it's just really hard for me to properly get into a game. I'm just. You should try play 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 a few games of Apex with me. You might like it. You might like it. It'll be fun. It'll be I fun. mean, I probably will, but like, I mean, I remember playing a few games of Valorant with you, and I enjoyed that. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. And then this I just more fun. And then I was just like, okay, I've had enough. That was that was that was my fun. I was like that with Valorant as well. I played a few games. I'm like, cool, cool. I'm, I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's that, that's me now with most competitive games. I was like that with uh, Overwatch. Um, oh, we'll, we'll play, we'll play some all right, all right, all right. this week, we'll play. Right, okay. I was moving with chess as well. I was like, played, played, played a bit, you know, started getting, started getting fun. And then I just, just stopped. I don't yeah. know. It's just, I don't, I don't get anything out of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Valorant is a banned word of my chat. Cause really? Cause people just keep, there's always like four people every stream that come in my stream and are like, hey Connor, play Valorant. And yeah. I'm like, who are you? Where do you guys come from? <laughs> who cares about this game? So I, I just banned it. Yeah, I think with competitive games, I'd much rather, I, I, I like watching streams and I like watching people play it. I just don't like playing it myself. Yeah. Cause I know like I, I just can log off anytime I want. Yeah, watching people who are like the best in the world at that game is fucking weird. Yeah. It's like pop okay. each other in Valorant, uh, click on each other's heads yeah. like once. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like an adventure game at that point. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're point just clicking point on click. other point and click. <laughs> <laughs> Valorant would be like, <laughs> It's literally fucking Freddy Fish levels of yeah. interaction. Like Dead by Daylight. Have you ever played Dead by Daylight? It's pretty good actually. I've heard that's pretty fun. So like uh, four people are like trying to run away mm. from a killer. Yeah. And you basically got to like- It's literally just Friday the 13th, the game. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's, it's quite fun though. Yeah, it's, I've, I've it's, heard uh, good things about it. I played, well. the, I played a little bit of the forest. It's quite well done. That one was kind of fun as well. What's the forest? I haven't played that one. Forest is like your like uh, kind of- you get you like crash land in like a in a forest. Yeah. Someone said in the chat, sorry, that's pre-recorded stream. This is not a pre-recorded no, stream. Pre just, chat's just so fucking hard to read. Look yeah. at you guys. What are There's, you doing so fucking? How fair? many fucking people are there? There's seven seven thousand four hundred people yeah, in this right, chat, yeah. and this is on slow mode. Pre-recorded. You guys think we're fucking that organized? You get out of here, man. So the forest. Go ahead. Sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, forest is like you start off like you're on a plane. It crash lands into a forest, and then you basically just have to fucking survive. Hey. Oh, that's, fine. that's literally all it is. Um, is Evangelion fully over now? Is it like done? Well, I'm just gonna come back in like fucking twenty well, years. Well, I'm trying to avoid 4.0 spoilers, so I have no idea. Actually, I'll watch it. You know what's you know what was a good thing? I, I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and avoid Twitter as much as possible because the new Ava movie is out, and if I've learned anything about Attack on Titan then I'm just gonna <laughs> avoid it. There's probably gonna be people spoiling it. Surprisingly, I didn't see a single fucking spoiler about the new Ava movie, but yeah. then I was like, oh yeah, Japanese people are actually sensible about this shit. So. Yeah, people are pretty polite about it here. Yeah. Monster Hunter with the boys. I think Gantz is the only one who plays Monster Hunter out of us. Yeah, uh, I, play, I played no, Monster I, Hunter. I played it 
Asian. I played I, Monster Hunter World. I played. I, I was like fucking cripplingly addicted to Monster Hunter Three, like on uh, on PSP. I think it was. Yeah, I played Monster Hunter World. I think, but that yeah. was mainly. I, I enjoyed playing. I it wanted with to play Monster Hunter World, but I literally couldn't find anyone. If I had known you played Monster <laughs> Hunter World, I would have got it. And we could have played it, it, man. <laughs> I was like, where? It's like I don't know anyone who likes Monster Hunter around me. And then I was like, <laughs> people I know who played Monster Hunter World are like Japanese men. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. It's oh. cool. <laughs> hello. hello. <laughs> I'm in this picture and I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> I am Japanese man. <laughs> Are you guys drunk? No. I no. wish. We just, we just a bit kooky. Oh yeah, yeah. Tectone plays a lot of. Uh, Connor looks like he doesn't want to be there. I'm just tired as fuck, guys. You've been tired before, huh? <laughs> See, this is what I, I don't get Connor's about. Connor's resting face is just like, I wish death <laughs> upon everybody. This is what I look like resting. And everyone just thinks I'm like unhappy. It's just like me normal, man. Just imagine every Tuesday he rocks up with that face and we're just like- <laughs> We're just vibing, we're just well, vibing. Yeah, we just, we're just vibing though. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, just vibing. <laughs> normal. Connor, Connor is mood right now. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, him. unfortunately I have like a pretty bad resting bitch face. So I never thought you did until really? you until you said so. I, Cause I always used to meet people and they'd be like, wow, I thought you hated me when I first, when I, when I met you. And I'm like, why? And I'm like, oh, cause you just looked angry. I'm like, I'm not fucking angry. I'm, I'm not fucking angry. I'm fucking angry. I'm just British, okay? <laughs> It's, it's that uh, it's that whole like childhood anger management, like just creeping back. No, I'm, subconsciously. I'm not an angry boy. Anymore. It's literally your I, inner child just coming out onto your face. I legit cannot remember the last time I legit got angry. Really? Yeah. I never get like actually angry. I get like fake angry. I'm like I'm yeah. fuming, lads. I'm fuming, and then yeah. I'm just, I, like, you know, I get. I'm just like I'm like I am. Hey, 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 you know hey, how it is. Hey. Because <laughs> like, I just like shouting. Shouting's fun. Yeah. Shouting know? is fun. <laughs> is it not? Well, come on, shouting's fun. <laughs> I never really thought of it as like, <laughs> yay. <laughs> I get to shout. <laughs> it's therapeutic. I don't know. Like, I like shouting if it's if it's if there's a legitimate reason. Like, I I don't just shout randomly. I do. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbors love me. <laughs> shouting is fun. I don't know. There's a way to do it that's fun. I don't know. I don't know. Like, how do you do it? Do you just just loudly. <laughs> I don't know. How like, do you shout? <laughs> like I don't know. Like what? I I so very rarely shout. Like what in what incentivizes you to be like I'm gonna shout now? Just gets you hyped. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> oh, you should probably shout now. Probably right? shout now. You know, sometimes like you know when you're just like your moods are all like weird. You mm. know, you want to sort that shit out. You just like. <laughs> I'm good. I don't know that. <laughs> it like channels all my energy, you know what I mean? So I'm in right. a good state. Right. You channel your inner Tyler one. Yeah, right? basically. Yeah, <laughs> you're in a monkey. Shit off, get this bad energy <laughs> off of me. You just, right. sh you just shout the bad energy away. Shouting is fun, and then, but it fucks up your throat. I mean, that's what you do from the chest. Shout from your chest, push it upwards, and then yeah. you can you can shout in a way that doesn't hurt. How, how do you shout from chest? Like you push your diaphragm while shouting instead of pushing it with, like, with your throat. Yeah. Cause like most people when you phone. shout, you go, ah. yeah. but you want to be like, oh. And you can like shout this. like, you can shout with a bigger strength. Yeah, I'd yeah, say yeah, if you yeah, push, yeah, yeah. it's like a voice acting technique, isn't it? What's uh, your opinions on redo of a healer? Um, it's shit. It's kind of it really. It's shit and I love it. It's shit, it's, no, I don't love it. It's shit and I hate it. <laughs> shit and I love it. <laughs> Thank you. No, okay, I'm just saying no, all right. It's like I in chat trolled me. Sorry guys, sorry guys, false alarm. Yeah, it looks, it looks fine to me. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I liked how you, Joey said to me earlier that Redo of a Healer has become his domestic girlfriend. Yeah, I'm like, oh literally no. has. Oh no, Joey. Oh no. I am single. I, like I am I... single handedly, like like God did with domestic girlfriend. I am single handedly keeping this meme alive. I just watch it and I'm like, this show is just so boring in every way. And then it's just edgy. And then it's like, how is it's it like, boring? How is it fun? There's so much dumb shit that goes on. It's so entertaining. Yeah, in a it's way just a, that's just, just like literally, dumps the fire. Literally just everything feels, that it literally everything that the main character that, says and does is a meme. I just feel sorry that someone like legit thought this was good to write down. Like, <laughs> like these are like no offense to the to the author. No, I think, full, I, think I think full offense to the yeah, author. Yeah, who am I kidding? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's shit. It's shit. Like, you just I don't know. You just you're just watching this thing. You're like, this is so pathetic. You know what I mean? Like this is so pathetic. I mean, you don't, like, do you don't think that when you're watching it? I, th I, think, I just think it's funny. 
I, I think I'd just rather watch a hentai right now. Like yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd just, I, yeah, exactly. I'd rather watch a hentai that just knows what it is. Literally like, for me, it's like I watch an episode of Read Over Healer just as like an entree before I go and watch an actual hentai. It is literally <laughs> the entree. <laughs> So like, Joey, Joey's like, I'm like, you, you're, you're browsing your hentai and just, you're just like, yo, 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 let me, let me just, let me just whip out the starters. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, it's uh, like, uh, I don't want to dive into the full <laughs> meal, right? Like, I kind of want to like get my get, stomach. Let me, yeah, like, let me get know, the hors d'oeuvres out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me get my digestive juice like, yeah, flowing. Yeah, I want to pre-wank. I'm going to watch yeah. mur murder trials, you know, like <laughs> what? Well, again, it's like, you know, I feel like because I am single-handedly keeping this meme alive, I almost have like an obligation to keep up to date with it. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, you know, if I'm gonna go and you know watch a hand, watch a hentai, I mean, I might as well just fucking get the Redo of the Healer episode out of the way. I, I do like, think people are comparing Redo of the Healer to Interspecies Review. I actually think Interspecies Review is like an actual funny show. Like, I, I don't think they're anything alike. No, they're completely no, no, different. They're completely different. It's just because the circumstances are similar, so people are putting them in the same yeah. no, bracket. No, they're, they're, they're no, Interspecies, is, no, no. Is, interspecies reviewers is, is like trying to be funny on purpose. Oh, it's yeah. funny. Whereas Read Over Healer is funny on accident. Yeah, like I've I've used this I've used this argument. One has before. good writing. One has bad writing. Yeah, I've used this argument before, but I feel <laughs> like the, the big good writing. That's pretty. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I, think, I thought I think he was good. good. I mean, he, he was hey, just man, some of those jokes had me cracking up. Yeah, it like, wow, was just rad. me and the boys hanging out on the hand side. I have literally man. read like fifty dojins with the exact same plot. It is not good writing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I enjoyed it, especially. I thought the anime. It's literally did a really just one of those job. like I mean, Dojin artists was like. Compared to fucking Redo of a Healer, my fucking napkin shits look like I fucking never, Shakespeare. I, 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 did I sorry. ever say that Redo of a Healer was good writing? No, but I'm just saying in comparison. That's my case. Because people are comparing them. It's it's. No, just no, no, like, no. I, I fully agree. Redo of a Healer and In Species Review is nothing alike. Yeah, yeah. Nothing alike at all. Because I, I feel like for me, with Redo of a Healer, I, I've made the argument where I don't think you can enjoy it if it's censored. Where yeah. you could you can still enjoy interspecies reviewers if it was a censored yeah. version because I mean I watched interspecies reviewers censored and it was fine. Yeah, exactly because yeah. you're not watching it for the there's, there's a reason you watch redo of a healer right yeah. and the reason you watch it is it's for, for the, the uncensored version. It's for the uncensored exactly. version. Exactly. Whereas with interspecies reviewers, it's like that it's like that nice cherry on top. You know, it's yeah. like that nice little extra. It does it's it's not the main base. It's not the core. It's right. just a nice little extra. Exactly. It's for it's, it's for that extra <laughs> bit of <laughs> culture. <laughs> Did Joey wake up and? Choose Used to be a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that made me laugh. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> what about me saying that interspecies reviewers writing is bad as me being a Karen? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, can we start calling Joey a Karen? I'm down for this. This is <laughs> Joey. What? Joey is anime Karen. <laughs> What about me as a Karen? That what actually did that, makes, did that even come That actually from? makes no sense. <laughs> <Like> Connor's dying <laughs> right now. What is, that, have you, do you not know what a Karen is? <laughs> like what, what? That actually makes no sense at all. That's literally just like, let's just call Joey a name because it's funny. <laughs> what? what? Connor's dying right I now. I actually don't understand why this is funny. <laughs> I don't know why, it doesn't make sense. It just, <laughs> why, it doesn't why is Joey a Karen? I wanna know why no, they- I wanna, no I, sense. I wanna know why Joey's a Karen. I just, it's just, I wanna know. It's, just, it's funny, I don't know. It actually makes no sense. Jaren. Jaren. <laughs> <Jaren. laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Connor, calm down, Connor. It's not funny, man. <laughs> it's funnier cause you're getting salty. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm, just, no, I'm not getting salty. I'm getting, I'm confused. Like what? <laughs> Legit, like I'm actually trying to think back. What, what did I say that made me become a Karen? <laughs> I actually don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you didn't know better, you'd probably think we were drunk right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't get it. Oh my God. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> uh, did you watch Reza Part Two already? I haven't been watching it. No, I haven't been watching. It. I haven't. I haven't been up to date with it. I'm probably gonna binge it. Yeah, that's that's a binge worthy show. Yeah. I will. I will binge it. I'm watching a lot of other anime this year, this season though. Um, mm. Michelle Contento is fucking amazing. I will. I, I will. Start, I will I, praise that until the sign goes down. I need to start down. watching that, man. Yeah. And your obligatory video coming on it, gone. <laughs> oh, Michelle Contento. Yeah, yeah, actually, in like two weeks. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Of but course. Guys, there's a hidden gem this season <laughs> that you need to that know That people about. have been sleeping on. <laughs> <laughs> no, if anything, like Wonder Egg's the hidden, can you call it a hidden gem? 
No, it is. I mean, I, what, what I, is a hidden gem? I mean, I made a video about it saying it was I, a hidden gem, and yeah. so many people were like, um, it's not a hidden I gem. I want to watch it, but like, it's not on any fucking stream. It is platform. fucking impossible to find. And I've got, I haven't pirated in so long that like mm -hmm. having to open it up, I feel like a fucking boomer <laughs> trying to find like the search function on the file. <laughs> Where is it? I'm like, what's going on? It was six pop-ups last time. Why is it eight this time? What's going on? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just confused now, but I don't know. Another thing that I, I thought was interesting is that like, you know, when everyone talks about like anime of the year, we're going to get into this bullshit. Oh, I want, no, Cause no. okay, listen, this is, People will give me so much shit for saying that, like, let's be honest, Attack on Titan, it's probably gonna be anime of the year, mm -hmm. right? People are like, oh my God, how can you say that? How can you say that? It's, is that an was, unpopular it's, opinion? It's February, how can you make that oh, opinion, Connor? C calm down with the hot takes there, Connor. Right, yeah, but like, in my mind, it's like, you know, how can any one season of a show or a new show top something that's been building up for this long and has just been getting 10 out of 10s, Yeah, right? Mm. Yeah. Do you see in any, universe something coming along and taking anime of the year from you from Honestly, Attack on Titan? not not right now yeah. um, i would say it really just depends on how they're going to adapt chainsaw man even I mean, then though how do you like again like can, can that the, is real, the, but even can, then it's, it's like it's, it's, like, it's like the jujitsu kaisen all over again yeah. right it's 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 like okay you know i i can see jujitsu's fucking slaps right now yeah. it's getting better and better like, it's amazing all these yeah. shows are amazing but can the first season of a show be the accumulation of like 10 yeah. years of just yeah, nuts. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true. Yeah. I feel like the, the starting point is just completely different for any other right, show. Right, that's the right? thing, right? Yeah. It's like it's like comparing the first season of any show to like the finale of Breaking Bad, which like nailed it. Yeah. It's oh, like, people are saying Demon Slayer season two, maybe? No, <laughs> come on, come on. Guys. I don't think so. Guys, I don't think on, so. Guys, stop clowning, guys. I good good joke, guys. So. Actually, like I like Demon Slayer, but I don't know how it got so big. Uh, it's just I, the right amount of like, no, like I think, very beginner level, like shonen. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but you could say that about so many shonen, yeah, though, right? Yeah, but, why? But why? That doesn't that doesn't justify it selling a hundred million copies in the manga? Yeah, that's that's actually, what's, what's, what I haven't seen. That, that I don't know. I haven't I seen the know. movie. Was the movie that good that it was just like Look, okay? Okay, I'm I'm a thrash One Piece okay, now. Here's, okay, the movie was good, but it was not cinematic. Yeah, in any sense. Like I I, I said in my video, I was like. This is literally just if you took five episodes of Demon Slayer and yeah. just mashed it together. It's like if you binged five episodes. Yeah. That's all it was to me. Like it was good. Like it was hype as fuck. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But I like, I, was I, it, was it like, was it war? Like it's still in the fucking cinemas after like. Seriously? Yeah. They're still oh, playing in the cinemas after like nine <laughs> months or something. Might go watch. Like, I think that's my problem with a lot of anime franchise movies is that they kind of feel like an extended episode or mm. just a bunch of episodes put together. Honestly, the Pokemon movie peaked anime movies, you know what I mean? And then it's just been downhill from there. Which one? Which, I mean, oh, it's any of them? It's just, she's uh, just trying to trick me. The first me. two, the first two. <laughs> Lugia and fucking <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, that's, Connor, that, that, you're wrong. That's you're how wrong, I, Connor. I see like anime movies, how I saw like the uh, Pokemon movies to like the games. I don't know why. I feel like it's like, it's like a nice little Because no, the, the best, the best anime movies are stuff like, um, you know, uh, uh, anime original movies like, you know, Silent Voice, Your Name. That's true. Um, any- Silent Voice is not an original. Oh no, sorry, sorry. No, I mean, I mean like it's- <sighs> But like it's contained yeah, within it's, just and, the and movie. And like, like even then, my big problem with Silent Voice is that it felt like a manga adaptation. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you like, ask if you ask the manga readers, they, they would tell you that the movie sucked. Yeah, I mean like to, to me, Silent <laughs> yeah, Voice- If you ask anything about the manga readers, they'll, <laughs> they'll be like, yeah, the fucking manga was bad. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, to, to me, Silent Voice would work equally as well as an anime series. And yeah. you know, it, I, and- I would argue it would work better as an anime series. Yeah, like my favorite anime <laughs> movies are stuff like Satoshi Kon's work, mm. uh, you know, Sorry. Makoto Shinkai movies. It's because, mm. uh, and uh, Mamoru Hosoda, because they feel like actual movies. Yeah. They, they, you know, and that's because they don't have any pre existing. What are you laughing about, Connor? <laughs> there was a comment that said, Connor says something. God, I disagree. <laughs> and, uh, I, was like, I was like, that's pretty true. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty true. That's literally that's just trash taste like, in a nutshell. I was like, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty true. That is trash taste in a nutshell. I'm sure any good point. I, I didn't mean to ruin your it's, point. It's, it's that's funny. True. It's that's funny. True. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. I think that's that's one of the things yeah. me and Connor can agree yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Connor, that we disagree about I, everything. Connor, I like living. God, I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm I'm just I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just like, mom, dad, please stop fighting. <laughs> it's kind of just trash taste in a nutshell. Yeah. Right? 
Jerry, Jerry will wait and see which side has the biggest argument or the stronger <laughs> argument. Jerry will be like, I'm going to join that side, I think. <laughs> For me, it's just like, I just don't give a fuck, eh? <laughs> like, I really don't care. I'm just enjoying these two just fucking banter, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I, just, I just like having arguments with Connor. It's just, I don't know. It's just, sometimes it's just satisfying. Just Joey, I'm just existing. That's Joey's all I'm the doing. biased arbiter. Right? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm literally <laughs> just existing. Uh, you're the biased arbiter who's like, I'm already deciding I'm going to side with Gaunt unless Connor makes an amazing point. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of how it goes. It's because like, it's cause, bold of you to assume that I ever give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's that, Sorry, what's that image where like two guys are fighting? It's like a guy and a girl fighting or something and there's yeah. just guy is smoking a bong in the yeah. background. <laughs> That's literally me. <laughs> it's just like trash taste. That's in trash taste. Yeah, I, in I, I, I have not seen this image, but maybe I should. <laughs> I, I saw a comment that was like, it was like, uh, man, is it me or just uh, Gaunt and Joey just feeling more distant lately? What? what? Gone and Connor feeling more distant lately. <laughs> they just always seem angry at each other. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like we're always angry. At <laughs> you obviously don't know British friends where we yeah. show friendship by just by ripping, shitting, on, by each just shitting <laughs> on each other. I was like, how do we seem more distant? What is this, a fucking notebook? Like, what are you like, gone, I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> like, I like, Why no. didn't you write back? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because the way I see it, right? If you can't, if you're not comfortable to shit on someone, then how can you be comfortable enough to call yeah, the mates, if right? I can't yeah. call Jerry the Karen. <laughs> <We're not mates. laughs> as much as he'll hate me for it. <laughs> like, I'm, not even, I'm not even mad at that. I'm just confused. Like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny. Yeah, because like I feel like my 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 friendship with with Connor and Joey is like two opposite friendships, right? Because mm. with Connor, I th I think like I'm like in some ways the polar opposite of Connor, mm. and especially yeah, are, in like mentality or something. And Joey's that friend where the more I hang out with, the more we just like I feel like we just assimilate each other's like yeah. Yeah. body language and shit like that. Like there's a there's a compilation of when we do the same kind of movements on trash taste and that's like completely subconscious. Where, where we're in sync. Yeah, where like, we're just like in sync. And I think that's just because we've been spending <laughs> too much time with each other that we're just like, and we're so alike that we just yeah. like subconsciously do like copy each that other. Is like, oh, that oh, is like hands down my favorite gift <laughs> like ever made. It's so good. Obviously I'm not gonna start fucking arguing with people I just met, but I mean, <laughs> I mean. It's like, know, I'm what, gonna what, be friends with that person uh, by yeah. fighting. Once you get, you know, more comfortable with people, you know, I think, you know, it's a good, it's a sign of uh, showing that you're pretty open with each other. Yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Search two girls, one cup. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, yeah. <laughs> I'll stop reading it. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This true friendship, yeah. true. I don't know. I, all yeah. my close mates, I can, are we, I could roast, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's how you yeah, exactly. know in like a, a, a friend, like a big group of friends, like, if you play Jackbox, you know who are like the real friends because everyone will, will make jokes about those people. <laughs> and they won't they won't make jokes about the friends in the group who they're like, oh, they might not take it well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What if I mock that thing? Yeah, they the do? only the only Ooh. reason why you can just like talk whatever kind of shit is because you know that yeah, like yeah. you're they're comfortable with that, right? Yeah, yeah, Because exactly. you've, you've all played Jackbox with people where you're like, yeah, I can't insult this one thing about them because I think they're going to take it super personally. Mm. And it's like, what's the point? Yeah, that's, that's if, my, a, if my boys can't rip into me about all my insecurities, what's the point in having yeah. friends, you know? Like, what's the point? Yeah, it's like, that's <laughs> not a real friend. <laughs> <laughs> Insecurities yeah. together, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Insecure if together, you can't, boys. If you can't bring emotional trauma out of me, that's There's not a real There's something empowering about when you're all just fucking dogging on each other's like insecurities. You're like, yeah, we're all fucking human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like uh, to me, some like, you know, I, I see some people who just want you to, you know, have very safe friendships, right? Mm, and mm. to me, that's just like, you know, the two it's, it's like, it's fine, but it's also like, isn't that boring? It's just it's a bit boring, boring right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit boring. It's like, oh, I love you, oh, I love you too. <laughs> and then that's it, like. Like, what's the every girl ever? I'm sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's a joke. I'm not sexist. Fuck, I'm getting canceled. Bye. Right Bye. on International Women's Day, come oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. 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 I'm trying to want a Burger King, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my hardest here. I couldn't fucking wait, believe wait, that wait, shit. Wait, wait for my next follow-up comment to that previous <laughs> comment. <laughs> I'm gonna, my favorite part about the Burger King thing was that they, they tweeted a 
again like three hours later as if being like, it's just a prank, yeah, it's bro. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that was so funny. I was just like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. They were like, yeah, the, they did the second comment and yeah. then they waited like three hours later before they did the, and then we're doing scholarships for women. It's like, yeah. all right, yeah, okay, okay, all right. All right. Do you think it was on purpose or do you think that was just like damage control to the max? Yeah, a bit of both, I reckon. Like, I, I bet someone at Burger King was like, guys, I understand Twitter humor. Just <laughs> <laughs> press C. And Hello, then, fellow woman. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Hello, <laughs> fellow woman. <laughs> <laughs> I just worked, right? We're talking about it now. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. talking about Everyone, it. Everyone, Everyone is talking about it. it. Yeah. Definitely damage control. It could be, but they probably got all the uh, uh, PR they need. I mean, yeah, they PR, got all yeah. the, the PR. Kind of Burger King doesn't fucking need PR. People are gonna, <laughs> people are gonna fucking go to Burger King. Who doesn't King still. know what a Burger King is? Like, like pe Burger, people are still gonna fucking to go to Burger King, whether or not you know they. I feel like how many like mass tragedies would Burger King have to cause to be, make people stop eating there? I What's love, that, I love right? as well how like how people, many like <laughs> also, name. Also, uh, how, like, many, when, how many influenza <laughs> outbreaks do they need before people stop eating at Burger yeah. King? Also, right? also, like when has when has like when is trying to cancel. A corporation on the internet no, ever actually works. I love the amount uh, of what? people. I love the amount of people who are like, when they saw the fucking tweet, they were like, "I'm gonna stop eating at your establishment." I'm like, both of you assume not. that they were worth to eat at in the first <laughs> <Yeah>. place. <laughs> who wakes up in the morning is like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to Burger King." <laughs> I, like, is, I, I love McDonald's, right? I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, like, what actually, would, put your hand. What down. would what would McDonald's have to do to make me not eat at McDonald's? <laughs> How many babies do they have to murder? And I'm like, you know, I think there's an acceptable amount. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like two, <laughs> yeah. three though. You know what I mean? Like realistically speaking, yeah. like when, when the company does a bad thing, most people's first reaction isn't like, I will never go there ever again. You're gonna be like, I mean, you know, it's only like, you know, it's only yeah. a thousand McDonald's de McDonald's declares World War Three, but I mean, the McGriddles I mean, though, right? You know, honestly, let's be honest. I mean, the, the Big Mac sauce, the, the McNuggets, like, you know what I mean? You know what like, I mean? I'd go to war for that as well, man. Like, we, we all we all love to pretend that we have fucking morals, but the like the moment it's like super inconvenient for us, we're like, Ooh, I don't know though. Like, I really do like going to McDonald's. You yeah, know? Like, you know, like you're not even wrong, bro. People are fucking lying that they don't like. Like, come on. Like, if you use a product a lot, it takes a lot to make. Oh yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even if the company is like the worst, like yeah. everyone still fucking plays EA games, even though half the shit they do is so scummy. Yep. Mm. They yep. have to like, I'm pretty sure EA could just have like, just could not be paying their employees anything and mm. people would still play their games. Of yeah, course. Yeah. People would be like, well, great. It's more, it's cheaper now. Well, I mean, isn't that what happened you know? to fucking, what's, was it Chick-fil-A? That was like hella racist or whatever it was. Oh, like uh, homophobic? Homophobic, that's yeah. right, yeah. Like Chick-fil-A was like hella homophobic. Everyone's like, yep, finally. We can cancel Chick-fil-A. Still like the number one fast food yeah. chain in America. Two weeks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two weeks later, okay. people are still lining up for a Chick-fil-A. It's like- I think that's just the, I think that just goes to show that, you know, Twitter and bro, we're monkeys. fucking Facebook we're monkeys, just bro. mean nothing. No, we're the, general, the general public don't fucking care. That's, no, we, that's, they don't, they don't. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like, you know, and some people, if, if it's like very much, in their lifestyle or they don't have the means to change it, they're not yeah. gonna fucking change no. it. Because, because the thing is, you, you you know, we're obviously very ingrained into, you know, we're, we're very ingrained into like social media and Twitter culture and everything like that. But guaranteed, you say you say something like that, you, you, you go to like a random person on the street and be like, yo, you know what Burger King tweeted the other day? <laughs> Or just be like the, you know, the Jeremy yeah, Clarkson you, you, quote. It's like, yeah, oh no. Anyway. Any, anyway. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, you're about to go to McDonald's, uh, like Burger King, you're like, whoa, you can't do that. You saw what they tweeted, right? Like, no, I'm still gonna eat that. <laughs> yeah. I had their, they, they, in Japan, they have this, um, they have the, impo uh, the like the plant-based Whopper. Mm, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, it fucking slaps. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat there again because it tastes fucking amazing, <laughs> and I, I think it's really cool that there's like a plant based burger. I wish yeah. McDonald's had plant based yeah. burgers. I haven't tried it actually. Is it good? It's dude. It's so weird. It's way better than the Whoppers. Really? It tastes so much does, better. Does that say more about the Whopper or yeah. more about? The I think that speaks to the, the, the absolute state of the Whopper. <laughs> That's a YouTube channel right there. The <laughs> absolute <laughs> state of the Whopper. The absolute state of the Burger King. Two hour I YouTube love that. I, I love that. It's something about the phrase the absolute <laughs> state. <laughs> It's just such an amazing phrase, man. Bro, no guys, in Japan, I don't know what, like, okay, so here's what I did. When I, when I saw the plant-based Whopper was available on Uber Eats, and I, for some reason, you know, sometimes you just crave like a, like a different kind of burger. I was like, you know, I'll try Burger King. But mm, yeah. just in case the plant-based Whopper tasted like fucking weird, mm. I bought a normal Whopper as yeah. well. And so to, I, to compare. 
Yeah, to compare, but also just in case I didn't really want to eat the plant-based right, whopper, it right, tasted right, right, bad. Right, right. But you know, I went into it with an open mind, and I ate, I ate the plant-based whopper, and I was like, "Shit, this is this is pretty fucking good." I can barely, I can scarcely tell the difference from a normal burger. Right. I'm like, okay, so I eat this. I'm pretty full, and so I go. I may, maybe this is why I'm a little biased because maybe I was, I was a bit too full. Yeah. I take a bite of the normal whopper, and I just get grease. I get this real strong, fatty flavor, mm, and I'm like, yeah. you know what? The plant-based one was way better. It's like more fresh. So just much more clean? flavor, yeah, yeah, much cleaner. Mm. You don't like when you eat a Whopper, you feel like fuck. I just, yeah. I just ate cement <laughs> and oil. You know what yeah. I mean? All right. So <laughs> quite a question to you guys. God, I haven't said that in a while. I just, <laughs> I just, I just realized, holy shit. But um, you know, you guys remember Subway, right? Of course, you remember Subway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, wait, what I, 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 I remember Subway. I say, guys. I say that because it's been a, it's been a long fucking time to since I've been to the Subway. That's true. Do you, do you always get like the grilled Subways? What, what, do, you, what do you call it? Toasted? Like the, the toasted Subways. You have to get a toasted. You have to get a toasted. What animal okay. doesn't get a toasted? Okay, so this one time I, I had to get like the fresh Subway because untoasted, right? Right. Um, because the, their toaster was broken. So right. I was forced to get it. And it's really fucking good. It's really refreshing. I was surprised, right? It's mm. it's a different it's a different kind of filling uh, filling because you know it's it's not like it's not like nice and cozy and crispy. Yeah. It's just a nice refreshing sandwich. I, I feel it depends what's in it because I always used to get like the only time I would get non toasted was like if I got like a veggie wrap or something. Not even veggie wrap, just like a normal like I got like, or a, like a pizza sub or something. Yeah, because if you get like Subway is dog if you get like now. Italian BMT or something, you got to mm. get that toasted. Okay, but if, if you have it's, like a but it, Subway in America is no, extremely sub, fucking no. awful. Yeah, Subway in America is ass, but like it, it, is it good in the UK? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, in, in Australia, it's fucking bomb. I think a lot of people prefer Subway over like McDonald's and stuff. Yeah. I always used to get Subway in Australia because every did, other did you like, see that, McDonald's uh, was ass. Did you see that in Ireland that the it can't legally be called bread? What? The, the Subway what? bread? <laughs> what do you mean? Because there's so much sugar in it that it can't be it can't be legally called a bread. <laughs> really? It doesn't meet the criteria for bread. <laughs> what do they call it? I'm pretty, I can't remember what they call it. Chat, does anyone know what, like a, what it's like called? a bun? Cake? Cake? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a cake, right? What is it? Does chat know? <laughs> Chat will know. So yeah, I mean, it's it had so much sugar in it that the Irish government labeled it not as bread, which is kind of concerning when, you know, you've got four fresh breads. Cake? Yeah, it's cake. Would okay. you like toasted cake? <laughs> That's a pretty yikes, you know. When you, when you, okay, as well, you have to bear in mind, before, like, I want to say like five, six years ago, Subway's whole thing in like the UK was, yeah really leaning into like, it's the healthy alternative. Yeah, that's how right. they marketed McDonald's. themselves. And it blew up because of that. Mm, it was yeah. huge when it came out because of that, because that worked. Mm. Turned out it was way worse than McDonald's. <laughs> well, it depends on the sub you got, right? Yeah, a lot of them were really bad though. Because yeah. like the mm. salt, I think the it's salt mostly and the, the sugar. Salt content, yeah. It was the bread, the bread's so bad for you. Mm. Um, I think like uh, the, I think the one I liked the most was like the meatball one. No idea why I liked that. Oh, that the meatball stuff was pretty good. That was yeah. like the worst one for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the meatball ones. My favorite's yeah. like yeah, Italian BMT for me. The meatball, yeah. the meatball. The problem with the meatball subs is you had to eat that quickly because they just oh my god, that, that shit, shit just sauce. fucking fell apart. Yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> when I went to America the first time. I literally had every day five dollar footlongs. Oh my god, because I was like, seriously? this is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> American cuisine is the best. American cuisine. American cuisine is fantastic. But also, I was like fifteen, and I only had had like twenty dollars like a day to spend, mm. so it was like oh meal. yeah, that's this is when you were on your oh, trip, when you were right? visiting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, you, know, right. you, you everyone had to like buy their own uh, lunch, mm -hmm. so you know you get a food court, <laughs> so you right? Went to Subway. And every <laughs> single d every day in like America for like se six seven days, I went to Subway. To be shit, uh, to be fair, though, like the f for like five dollar five, five bucks for a full back then as well. Inflation yeah. was low. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that shit fills you up. That was pretty damn good. That shit will fill you up yeah. for like an entire day. That was good. Yeah, uh, that was good. <laughs> that was a good time. Foot long, man. man. Fuck, that's such good value. In the yeah. UK, it's like what, like three pound fifty for a hot six inch and drink. Yeah, can't even refill that bitch. <laughs> that's the thing about American culture, which is just you know refill culture. Everything oh you God, you bro. go yeah. to like you go you go most places and you get it refilled. It's like, do you like it? Free refill. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah. how how did this become normal? What what happened? <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Gone about to throw up a clip. Are you about to throw up? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Man, it's like eight dollars for. Yeah, it's like it is like it's like six pounds for a foot long now. Right? Get myself some water. It's like one of the lower end right. ones. And then they're so fucking stingy in the UK now with like uh, like the meat and the cheese. Like they give you. Oh like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, you know, it's pretty sad. I don't know. But do you like soda now? I don't really drink soda. I don't drink soda at all now. 
Cause like, like you, well, we were saying can, okay, before, if you want to like maintain weight, if you just cut out soda, it's like the most OP thing. Yeah. Because you can just eat so much more and I want to eat so much. Like, so cutting out soda is like big brain. Well the, well, the good thing is like, especially in Japan is that like, you know, there's so many fucking types of tea that you can drink. <laughs> yeah, true. And like different like flavored water that isn't just like sugar. Iron brew is the best. Oh my God. Have you tried iron brew? What's that? It's a Scottish drink and it's, it's probably the, mo- I think it has the most sugar out of any soft drink. It's like in a small can, like the 330 mils. I think right. it's got like a 50 or 60 grams of sugar. What? I think it's like ridiculous. It's like 40. Chat, I don't know, chat can look it up. It's ridiculous how much. Do you like iron brew? No. It's, it's so sugary. I don't, I don't like- I'm from Ireland and we definitely don't call the bro- cake. <laughs> what, the, what do you call it then? No, no, they don't call it cake. It is the government- Oh, the government says cake. that it is cake. Yeah. I don't like iron brew. It's iron, I, brew I don't is, like- <laughs> iron brew is orange Fanta on crack. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Orange, orange, Fanta. orange Fanta is just Fanta on crack. Oh, already. the sugar tax meant they changed the recipe. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like, the, you know what I miss about the UK on food and drink is that- um, What? So- Nothing. Right, you said that, so. No, 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 no. So <laughs> labeling, I didn't miss. labeling, right? Okay. Yeah. I liked that they had the, so when they had the calories and the fat and all that, they had colors. Mm-hmm. I like that. That was nice. So you immediately could just glance at something and see if it was bad for you or not. You didn't have to like read the numbers, calculate. Well, what do you mean colors? So if it was, say if it was like a pasta salad, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like pasta and dressing, you know, a bunch of fat. it would tell you basically like how much fat it is per your day. And then mm-hmm. based on like what the government recommends, it would be like green, orange or red, red being very bad and very high in like oh, this area. Okay. So it would be like, you know, if it's like a, if it's a salad all, all of the stuff will be green, like fat, Carbs, mm. sugar, it'll all be green. Yeah. It's like a cookies, it'll probably all be orange and red. Yeah, right. So right, like yeah, you yeah. immediately know like right away. Cause like the, you know, most of the time to most people, like the, the labels don't mean shit cause they're in like serving size. You gotta calculate like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but in the UK it's like immediately right at you. Like that sounds super useful. Why do they get rid of that? No, they still have it in the UK. Oh, they still have it. Oh. But I miss that they don't have it in other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no way that the American government could get that. That thing. No, 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 mm. no. Easy, understandable d- diet information. <laughs> mm, no. Bold of I you to that. assume I mean, that Americans yeah. check that. For me, for me, like, like I've place. never. But even in Japan, it would be nice. I think because no, some it'd be some Jap- nice in Japan. some Japanese stuff. My God, they hide the sugar in that. Oh, Holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they I'm, have that I'm just guessing. Well. I'm like one of the few lucky ones that I've never really had to care about gaining weight too much. So I've never had I to mean, really look at that it's stuff. It's just nice to know what's in what you're eating, I think. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. Like, cause if, especially if I'm eating something often, I wanna know what's in it so that I can like decide how often I should eat this thing or, you know, mm-hmm. how, you know should I really be eating this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I feel like I've really paid attention to it when I was like going to the gym and everything. Um, but that was more so I was eating the right, the right yeah, things yeah. rather than, you know, it's this many calories or whatever. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is kind of telling that I don't really put too much thought into that no, side no. of my diet, right? Yeah. yeah. I just I, I like to know mainly just because like sugar. I like I'm trying to avoid sugar and too much salt. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't really care too much about calories. It's like whatever. Yeah. Do, yeah. I, mean, I feel it, though, like you know, going back to the whole soda thing. Like if you just get rid of soda, you cut out soda from your diet. Man, it's like life's easy. It's like easy mode. Just yeah, get addicted point. to tea or coffee, and like it's mm. life's easy. Like. I mean, I've I've never had a cra- I've, I rarely ever have a craving for soda. I don't no, know. No, either. I never yeah, have it rarely, anymore. Rarely. But like, like the I, only time I'll ever get a soda is maybe like you know like a bur- like you know yeah. like a rum and coke or something. But I'm like, like one of those. Fr- I'm one of those freaks who can just drink water all day and just be yeah. fine with it. I drink a lot of water by I the need way. Tea. I need a lot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a lot. Like I mostly just like drink at least like a bottle or two of like green tea or something because you know in Japan it's so fucking yeah. easy to get. This is why your blood grade got B minus. <laughs> why? Because I drink water. <laughs> I thought that's the best thing you can oh, drink. Maybe, maybe they're talking about because you don't look pay attention to what you're eating. Oh, probably, probably. Need more that's- iron, Gaunt. America is going to adopt that color system right after they discover the metric system. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, that's, I mean, yeah, apart from that, that's why I care I recently, about- I recently went off about America not using the metric system really? in my streams really? for, like, for like an hour and a half. What's like said? shouting into the void. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, why? And the Americans are like, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like 
One thing I don't understand is why England still uses miles. Yeah, we so England's like I think arguably worse than America. At least like America committed. Yeah, to be being, consistent. Yeah, America committed <laughs> to being wrong. You know? yeah. We were like, oh, we were like, oh, we like miles per hour and kilo and yeah. uh, stone, but yeah. everything else is yeah, centimeters. Yeah, stone as well. I've like, never why? understood stone. Why? So is- Americans don't even use stone. So in the UK, you- it's only the UK. Yeah, yeah the, only the UK. You'll know you're watching a TV show uh, like cause there's so many fucking diet or fat TV shows. Yeah, where they'll always be like. He's 14 stone. And I, to me- Do you know I mean, how many stone you are? No, I don't fucking know. I don't, right? I, I, I told, I, I am, my theory is right. If I just abandon the imperial system, yeah. then if everyone agrees to do it in my generation, maybe eventually no one will fucking give a shit and <laughs> yeah. we'll just all adopt the metric system. Yeah, I mean- I, Why I've, are we not all in kilograms? Yeah, one, once yeah. I moved to kilograms, I literally never looked back. I'm so, just, yeah. so, one, so metric system, one stone is 6.3 uh, kilograms or 14, 14 pounds. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, just like, just stick I don't, to kilograms. I don't, I don't, I don't even just, know what I mean. I'm, I am in pounds. I have no idea I what I'm, I'm in pounds. I don't know. I don't know what oh, it, no, I remember. I think, uh, cause I was going off about the metric system on, on my stream and I looked it up and I was 169 pounds and everyone's like, it nice. Sounds, <laughs> it sounds so like Neanderthal. I'm this stone. Do, 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 do you know what's stone weird? <laughs> I'm 15 stone. Do, do you know what's weird though? For some reason, I prefer when someone says the height, they do it in feet. Yeah, yeah okay. That, I don't know why. Why? Why, why is it's that? So like e- someone so someone says, yo, I, I'm I'm 170 centimeters. That means fucking nothing to me. Really? Right? Someone says I'm 100, I'm 190 centimeters. I agree on that. I'm just like, what? That, that, yeah. that's, really? just, that's, just, that's just a large number. That's someone, says been, six, <laughs> someone says they're six foot five. I'm just like, yo, you, we got a fucking giant here. No, no literally. literally Literally for me, it's like, I'm the complete opposite. Cause like, I'm all just like centimeters. But if someone was like, the only differentiation I can make is like the six feet barrier. Yeah, yeah. Where it's yeah. like, if you're under six feet, damn, you're short. If you're above six feet, fuck, you're a giant. Yeah, I know, right? Like, why, why is that? That's all it is for It's me. the six feet rule, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the six feet rule. And, like, and if you're six feet on the dot, it's just like, I have to see you in person to figure out if you're tall or not. Like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, like, it's it's funny because everyone thinks I look like a fucking giant compared to you guys, but I'm I'm only fucking six feet, and you guys aren't like you guys aren't exactly short either. Well, but yeah, I think sometimes I, I look on the specials yeah. and stuff, and I'm just like, why the fuck do I look like a giant? <laughs> what, small. What's going on? <laughs> I'm not that much taller. Yeah, I think I'm like just under six. I mean, we're, I'm basically six feet, but <laughs> I think I'm like I'm like half. Says so every five foot six <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm like halfway between 5'11 and 6, but I think I'm still- Again, I don't know. I, I All I know is I'm 181 centimeters. That's yeah, all yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is that in feet and inches? I don't fucking care, but- Yeah. yeah Basically, let's just adopt the metric system. I'm, I'm happy to throw away feet. If, yeah, if this please. Is, if this is the sacrifice I need to make for the world to make sense. Yeah, just, yeah, please. Just metric Like system. Fahrenheit. I just like, I, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Fahrenheit, don't oh my God. Don't fucking get me started on Fahrenheit. Yeah, because I was asking, I was asking that, one that of my- That does seem dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking one of my friends about like inches. Right. Right. Because right. inch, like an inch is like what? 2.4 centimeters or fucking something like that? Now, I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's like two and a half centimeters, something like that. And I, I remember I asked one of my American friends, I was like, what if you have to measure something that's less than an inch? Because an inch <laughs> isn't that small. Yeah. I was like, so, so what if it's like something smaller than that? Yeah. And they're just like, oh, you just say half an inch. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and then and then I was like, but what if like, you know, say like in the metric system, much? right? Like in the metric system, right? It's like- <laughs> Sorry, sorry. What? You said when you have to measure something under an, under an inch, wouldn't you say that? The chat was like, Connor's real quiet right now. <laughs> 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 A micro inch. Yo, I'm like sweating over here. I'm like, what are your shit? They go, he's calling me out. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, but what if it's like, yeah, because you know, in metric we have like millimeter, right? Yeah. If something's yeah. like really tiny, you'd be like, that's oh, like two millimeters. Yeah. So I was like, what if you have to measure something that big? And my friend dead ass was like, I just say it's small. <laughs> it's like who the who the fuck measures something that small? How big is that? Oh, I think it's big. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty so big. It's just uh, small. Yeah, it's big. That it's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Wait, wait so what? Do, that that just gets me thinking. What do what do Americans have on on their ruler? Inches. So, <laughs> so so it's like inch, and then it's like but half have, an inch, yeah, a quarter of an inch. Most rulers have both, right? They have inches. Yeah, yeah, like yeah they yeah, have yeah. inches. Do they have centimeters? Americans, do you have centimeters on your rulers? It's like um, one side is like one sixteenth of an inch. That's so dumb. <laughs> what if it's smaller than a sixteenth of an inch? <laughs> 
<laughs> one, one's thirty seconds of an inch. Okay, yeah, they, yeah, it's both. It's yeah, both. Okay, yeah, good, good. you know how because obviously there's a there's a standard for a kilogram, right? It's like what one liter of water is a kilogram, or is it the other way around? I can't remember. Like it's that. something. Yeah, like um, yeah. For like so, metric for units like stone. What fucking stone are they using? Is it like a <laughs> is it like a perfectly spherical stone out there? Or like a feet, right? It's like what const like what is yeah, a foot? Who's fucking foot? Whose foot? Yeah. Whose foot were you using? This? Yeah. Like this They're like, oh, it's the king's foot. I'm like, well, fuck, the king was massive. <laughs> yeah, one liter equals one kilogram. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, one yeah, pure. Yeah. So who's who's fucking stone? Whose stone, <laughs> yeah, who's, who's stone? Who's stone is this? Whose stone is this? <laughs> Whose stone is this? Huh? Stone is this? <laughs> are we using? <laughs> is <it> like, <laughs> no, because I love a meter, right? A yeah. meter is just yeah, oh yeah, that's it. They base every uh, fuck. I remember this. Yeah, they base what? every imperial unit on a metric unit anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like well, just fucking use it. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just fucking use it. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know? I wonder sometimes. How did we get like a measure of time? How, how how did how Don't, did we no fuck okay, off, okay, okay this okay, is this okay. is this is Einstein that, yeah, this is Stoner talk now. yeah we're getting into yeah, we're getting into <laughs> Stoner talk who do you, how do you measure time this is like this is like three a.m. no, on no just I, I'm just like, it's like uh, this conversation is just making me wonder how the fuck did the first person decide second second <laughs> I, don't, I don't know I'm sure it, there's some I'm sure there it someone, has to do with I'm a certain sh- atom sh- it has to do with a certain atom vibrating in a certain uh, number of times someone someone, someone like asked that. why the uk uses pint listen the reason why uk uses pint is because it's more than 500 milliliters so that means more alcohol <laughs> the pint is never going away purely because of the volume of alcohol yeah you how get. big is a pint 568 milliliters yeah why so specific just round it up to 570 no i mean <laughs> that's what it is and like the reason why it's never going to die is because first of all Asking for a pint sounds fucking epic. <laughs> yeah. Can Accurate. I have 500 milliliters, please? <laughs> no. Sorry, oh, 568 yeah. milliliters, you, exactly. Like a half? No, I want a pint. <laughs> Give me a pint, right? And you get a lot for a yeah. pint. So it's never going to go away. Yeah. As it's, long as they're Br- like British men who want to drink, there's going to be a it's, pint. It's <laughs> a, a pint just sounds way too empowering, right? Because yeah, yeah. you come to Japan and you're just like, uh, you can get a small beer, a medium beer, but or like a, a large a, an beer. But like an American pint is smaller than is a- it? than a British pint, it's like 468 or something. Let's see. Cause I remember, cause when I went, first went to the America pint and I ordered the pint, I was like, couldn't, can't wait for a great craft beer pint. Like every white man does <laughs> in America. And uh, I had it and, and I was just like, what the fuck? This isn't a pint. What is this? <laughs> A UK pint is 20 fluid ounces. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 20 fluid. <laughs> yes, yes. So look, so fuck there you go. Off. So, so a British pint is 568 milliliters. Yeah. And an American one is 500, 473 milliliters. Americans, why would you downsize your drinks? You're getting 100 milliliters less of beer. You're fucking yourself over. <laughs> Who did this? This must have been some kind of like anti-British establishment when they, when yeah. they left, right? <laughs> Fuck the British people. They drink too much beer. Let's make our own system. It's <laughs> a bit too much beer for me. Oh, it's a bit, t- uh, bit too much beer for me. I keep, I keep, oh. keep leaving a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new measurement now. Yeah, I don't know. God, I hate that shit where you just like, you try and look up what something is and then they use a something Here's else something in the imperial else that system you, that you have no idea. Yeah, because in like, America, means have, nothing to me. They have uh, fluid ounces and ounces, yeah. which is like- Yeah, which is two yeah. different, like it's two different things, all right? <laughs> Why would you do this? And gallons as well. Grams is a perfectly good measurement unit yeah. that Gr- works fucking- Grams fantastic. and milliliters, just stick to that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, weird, weird. I don't know. Uh, you know, you know, like that meme where it's like, uh, oh, it's the X Men, where it's like, I want to see the real. Um, what's her name? The fucking blue girl. What? What's the blue girl in X Men who can like change? Oh, Mystique. 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 Like, yeah. I want to see the real Mystique, and then she changes. Like, no, the real. <laughs> that's, that's me when I order a pint. That's better. That's me when I order a pint. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, I want a pint. They give me a pint. No, the real pint. <laughs> I do forget how big a pint is until I go back to the UK and order a pint, oh, bro, and I'm fucking, just like, it's gargantuan. Bro, that's oh, a lot. That's a lot of that's liquid. A hefty amount of liquid. That's yeah. a lot of liquid I'm drinking there. Because it's like in Japan, you go to an izakaya, you like order like a single beer, like a beer, and that's yeah. just like it. Now that's warped my perception of what like a lot of liquid is yeah. to drink, to consume in one <laughs> session, right? Yeah. The absolute state of the in, in Japan. <laughs> the absolute state. In Japan, I, we were at a place the other the day and I, had to, I paid like, I paid um, $10 mm. for the large uh, beer. Right. And, you know, this place was like super like European looking. I thought, okay, fine, I'm gonna get a pint. Mm. Cause it's a large, it's 10 bucks. It must be big. Yeah. It turns out it's like 400 milliliters. I'm um, like, this isn't a large. Pathetic. In what, in what universe is large? The only place where I was given a large beer was at a German restaurant. Yeah, when I asked German for the, ones. When I asked for a medium, it was fucking huge. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I would've liked a warning, please. I didn't know what yeah. I was getting myself into. <laughs> when I was in Hokkaido, the beers there, like some, some of the beers there, mm. you order a large, it's a fucking large. Oh, really? It's an American large. <laughs> 
You know, nice. <laughs> yeah, but America, that's what you like to America's see. large for everything except when it comes to a beer at a bar for some reason. <laughs> that's where they decide. No, <laughs> I think we should have some moderation. Those British guys. Please, I'll, I'll have the diet version. Those guys go a little too far. In the, <laughs> the, only place, the only place where you will not get free refills <laughs> is at a bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the irony. I saw a place that was like, um, it was like, yeah. Europe's finest beer at a football sports bar. That's mm, what right. beer it was. It was fucking Carlsberg. And they advertised it as Europe, Europe's finest beer. Well, in, a, in, a, in America? In Japan. Oh, in Japan, <laughs> oh, in Japan of course. <laughs> oh. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's Shake just sad to so see, gross. right? That's, it's, it's sad to see when you like, it's sad to see when you see like, obviously one of the cheapest beers you can get abroad and it's just marketed here as like this exotic well, beer. The way I see it is right, you know how people in the US and the UK, when they order Japanese food and there'll be that one friend that's like, yeah, this is authentic shit. And it's like, it's like not even remotely authentic. Yeah. Meanwhile, that's, you look in the kitchen, it's just a white dude. Yeah, that's probably how like, I think yeah. that's how I felt when I saw that. And then there's yeah. probably some Japanese guy and they've been like, it's like Take this friend. I know a great place that serves authentic <laughs> yeah. European beer. Uh, you're up on the beer. It's called a Carl's Bar. Carl's Bar. <laughs> and I'm like dying inside. Like, no, it's literally the worst. Now, like, oh, it's probably how we're going to feel when we go like back abroad and see yeah. an Asahi on tap. All right. <laughs> Just going to be like, Asahi? Asa really? Uh, bro, uh, couldn't even, couldn't Car even get supper yeah, to, to put it in perspective, Carlsberg and Budweiser are the same level. But isn't Budweiser like not even the worst one in America? Like Bud Light's it's, worse, it's right? No, Bud, it's not the worst. What is considered the worst? Scary. Is Bud Light the Americans, worst? Americans, what is the worst American beer? The Miller cheapest, Lite. I'm, I'm, I'm That's a, pretty shit. I'm going to call it out. I've been to Wisconsin. I've been to the Miller Brewery. I'm going to say it. Miller Lite fucking sucks, Miller man. Lite is not good. Cool, cool Light. Oh, actually, Cool oh, Light is also up there. Bud Light? Bud Light is piss. <laughs> <laughs> Cause light. Yeah, any any, the, yeah, the any light, American beer with the word light in it, right? Because <laughs> like American beer is already light enough Ooh, as it is. Yeah. So if you take an American beer and make the light version of that, <laughs> just what are you doing? So why am I getting the beta version? <laughs> yeah. I've never even heard of what was what are some of these? I've never even heard Natty of these. Natty light? Is that real? Oh, natural that light. Looks, oh, that oh looks like a fucking God. dollar store beer, dude. That what? looks. Awful. That looks like shit. Brewed in America since natural 1977. <laughs> It's not even that old. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! That looks like that looks like ass. Was it medicine. That oh was my like Red Bull. dude! Like two a... two fucking nightmares. Seltzer water with natural light. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> that looks That's horrible. Gross. Oh, I've go. never seen something so sad in my life. Seventy-seven natties. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's awful. That looks oh like god. ass. What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Oh. oh, beer should never be served in a medicine what? bottle. That That's shape? a fucking what medicine fuck? bottle. What the fuck is what that the shape? Fuck? That is like cough syrup container. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? 12 uh, fluid ounces. Get that looks like a suppository. <laughs> yeah, th this is a fucking nightmare right here. Natural light with <laughs> seltzer water in it. Yeah. Wait, th that means they mixed fucking beer with seltzer water. America, what the fuck is you wrong literally with you? This is literally watered down beer. You know, I, you know what I just realized? Like you, you see like American frat boys and American frat parties just like fucking cracking open the beer yeah. and like, like fucking like Shot pouring it all over mm. themselves, yeah, right? Yeah. You never see that in other cultures because you'd, why would you waste good beer, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's too expensive. Yeah, that, exactly. Man. I just realized well, this- seven, seven like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. This, this is like the fucking beer that the frat boys crack open. And I can see why they crack open yeah, this one. beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> So, wow, that's $13. For $13 for a pack of 30. Oh, that's ridiculous. 13 for a pack of, th that's like- That's like 30, no, no, 30 cents a beer. That's like, how much is that? Fuck, my brain. Uh, no, not even. It's like 35 cents a yeah, beer. 35, that's concerning. Yeah. The half that, that must be more of the uh, aluminum. Sorry, aluminum, <laughs> aluminum. God, oh my God. God. I was thinking American. <laughs> been poisoned, Connor. 35 been cents a can, American. 25 yeah. cents going into the can. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Natural ice. Ice brewed for a smooth taste. Uh, Three extra natties. <laughs> it's fucking hell. Why is, this why, why natty, they is this real natty daddy? <laughs> is this real? It Eight, is real. 8% alcohol? Holy fuck. That's not a beer in a can. 
That's that's a strong zero. All right, I I I think I see who this who this is aimed for now. Yeah, just basically broke college students who can't it's, get drunk. Yeah, it's aimed towards this, it's guys like this. <laughs> it's aimed towards like people who look at Bud Light and go like, no, no, please. That's, that's not that's, gross enough. That's that's <laughs> this is too upper class for me. <laughs> Sees Bud Light, ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Oh, that that looks like like if you described Bud Light to an alien and they came up with their own branding. But I just realized, I just realized <laughs> the second thing is, it says frat cool. What? What, what is that? The what second is... recommended search thing for Natty Light is frat cool. Oh my god. It's literally, what the fuck? this is literally for frats. Look at this shit. It, it looks like a frat boy drink. It, it, yeah. it, I, th I think that's, I think we figured it out. We figured, figured it out. We, we figured it Natty out. Natty Light. Yeah. Natty Light. I, is I would take any number of weird craft beers that taste like shit over the, any of that. Yes. God. Yeah. I mean, I like. I've kind of realized going to America how good British beer mm. was, even though I don't think it's good at all. But uh, we have some pretty good ones. We have some all right ones, but compared to like European beers. You know, I, I that's, think, that's where, that's where the real shit is. As we left the UK was when they were really starting to get into the idea of bringing in like locally made beers into bars. Yeah. Unfortunately. What, what would you say is like the best beer that you guys have drank? Like from any country? It's like Czech or German beer is the best. Mm. Czech make really good beer. I like Belgian beer. Belgium is pretty good too. Yeah, I like Belgian beer. Nice. Yeah. Just any of that area in Europe is pretty fucking spot yeah. on. Yeah. I, I feel like they, they've just, I don't know. They, they're the right amount of, they're heavy without being overbearing. Mm. I feel like it's, mm. it's it just, it just feels nice. It just feels refreshing. Yeah. Like yeah. it's, it's weird because I feel like Japanese beers, they are very light, right? But somehow mm. they're, they're refreshing without me feeling like I'm drinking an American beer, which just feels like, you know, piss water. Yeah, dirt water. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. Like, yeah, you, I mean, there has to be kind of watery here because they, they have to drink so much of it. Yeah. You know, fucking business parties. Yeah, true. <laughs> they don't anyway. have to, they're just forced to. Sorry, I'm so tired. I've yeah. had a long day. <laughs> You've had a long I'm day. I'm gonna go home and crack open a natty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crack open I, I, you know, next time I go to America, I'm just gonna try it out just to see like we how bad. I, I would, I would, I would drink in a natty. Drinking a yeah, natty. Yeah. Yeah. Ne next time, next, next time we go next to, stream. next time we go to a convention or something, you just see us with the natties. <laughs> see uh, us with the natties. <laughs> Me and the boys with the natties. Walking down the streets of LA with a natty in hand. <laughs> hey. I don't know, just natty, natty for some reason sounds Australian to me. Right? So Oi, Fangus a natty cunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Fangus a fucking natty cunt. <laughs> that does, eh? Natty, like, natty is like, you there, You knew at least one natty in school. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks right, guys gamers. for- Thank you so much for joining the Trash Taste After Dark. Yes. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. If you're watching it on Twitch, follow us. Wait, which you are already. Which you are already. <laughs> if you're hopefully. watching this live. If not, hopefully. subscribe to Trash Taste After Dark. <laughs> All right, well, All right. thank you so much for joining us. We'll, uh, we'll leave it to the Trash Taste outro song and <laughs> intro. Everyone's favorite. Everyone. If all stand for the national anthem. Guys, please stand. Everyone stand for the national anthem. All rise for the national anthem. Pass me the yacht's court. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put it on the, don't put it on the good shit. Yeah, Yo, I got you. <laughs> I have a perfect transition, actually. You gotta do right. All right, guys, check this out. <laughs>